Yep. 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 Nothing like planting a bunch of mushrooms on the ground and turn them into beer so that your, your, your laborers can descend deeper into the depths of the deepest tombs beneath the earth. Yep. Everyone loves plump helmets. See, I'm waiting for the same sickos that can't fucking help themselves and going, What? What do you say, you perv? What do you to out themselves as actually the real sickos? Again. That's just an in-game name for a plant. You're wrong. You're wrong and you're embarrassing. All you said was plump. You can't turn it around on me. We all know. Every single time I say any word nowadays, it's followed with question marks and then grease mage emo and then I look like a fucking weirdo despite the fact it's you every single time and I'm done being gaslit. Twenty twenty three, it's your fault. I've decided. Twenty twenty three, turn the tables. <laughs> turn the tables. Hundred bits from Audacity ESQ going through some uh, extremely tough family times. Can gamers rise? Can gamers please rise now? Gamers, please rise. Thank you. I Man, sorry to hear that. Hope shit gets. Hope shit gets better. Why don't you do some work for once, Tomato, and rise? I rose yesterday and drove and did things. I rose, all right? I, I rose like beyond my house, farther than many of you have, have deemed even possible to rise, okay? Etowato, thank you for the five gifted subs. Luna Fortune with the 500 bits as well, thank you. Thank you. Yes. You left your house? That I did. As I tend to do a lot recently. That I did. I'm so powerful. I'm, I'm, I'm growing stronger every day. So you're not a gamer anymore? I still game harder than most of you could even possibly imagine, all right? I'm just giving you all a chance to catch up for fucking once. All right? I have to get up so early tomorrow for a fucking doctor's appointment though and it fucking sucks. I'm so tired of this. I wake up later most days now. Most of the time waking up at like one now, one or two again. It's getting worse. I, I fixed my shit for like four months and then I slipped. And now I have to wake up at fucking... See, what's weird though is that usually when I wake up at like 10 or 11 to go to something, I end up in what I've started to call the funny hour. 
uh, where I, for some reason, when I'm, like, partially sleep-deprived, I just think I'm, like, for some reason, way funnier. And I think it's because, like, caffeine just interacts with my sleepier brain by making me act like a fucking idiot. I've, like, clocked it, like, five times, and I've been, like, every time that I've done this, and I've been, like, a little sleepy, I have been objectively, like, I've had more fun. But I can't just do that. I can't just like fabricate. I can't force that to happen. I die. Maybe you just are idior. Smile. Man, you really don't want to bungle the fucking last spelling of that when you're calling someone an idiot. You really don't want to drop the ball at the very end there, buddy. You can't. Dumbed ass. <laughs> yeah, hee <laughs> hee. Ha ha! Yeah, we'll be streaming through the week all the way till Friday. I take weekends off. As is always the goal. Unless it doesn't happen like it did last weekend. That's the plan. Man, I need more caffeine though. Holy shit. Pipe Dreamers back each week too. Yeah, Pipe Dreamers is back. I actually, to my knowledge, I believe we're also going to keep our original groups for the uh, next couple of sessions too. We're not going to mix it up like we had originally planned. So it's actually going to be like the Pipe Dreamers group for the next couple sessions. For them, they're Thursday games. Frontline Zug. Dude, Zug should be on the front line as much as the bomb should be on the fucking front line, dude. All right, he should have died. He should have fucking died. He should be dead. All right, I don't know how many more times I got to tell him this. Hell, I'd go as far as to say that if push came to shove, the bomb is a more effective tank if I had the right spells. Just simply, just simply because I have more healing potential. <laughs> that boy's gonna die if he keeps doing crazy shit. Mito tank? I could build Mito to tank. But, I mean, we don't need more tanks. We don't need more tanks. That was a thing. We have so many tanks. <laughs> and I'm not going to fucking complain because it's like... The amount of times that Brett's been like, this one's gonna really fuck you guys bad. This boss is gonna own you. And then it just ends up being almost all of us at full health or just about at the end. And we're all just looking around like, ah, oh, the only way to really get us is to just totally fucking dumpster us with some insane OP, like, super fight. And no DM's gonna do that. What's up, Juniper? I'm not owned Yora. Tomato 20. 2022 has been rough for me. 2022 has definitely been the year of uh, I'm not owned, you're owned. And that's, that's been rough. That's been a hard one for me. It's been a toxic year. I'm joining my friend's campaign tomorrow. I'm super pumped. Dude, just whatever you do, do not embarrass yourself. Do not embarrass your friend in his campaign by just beefing it, all right? I know pressure, but if you go in there and beef it in front of all of his other campaign members, holy shit, I do not know how you'd ever live that down for the rest of your days. No pressure. Have fun out there. 
Go get him, champ. Go get him. That was unhinged. Hey, I'm just saying what's gotta be said out there. You know what I mean? <laughs> you, know what I, <laughs> you know what I fucking mean? Toxic like Barry. I'm glad Barry's fucking dead. All right. I've said in front of everyone that campaign. I'll say it here too. I'm glad Barry's fucking dead. Good. Good. As they should be. <laughs> There will be a berry too. Okay, you wanna know what's like the thing? And this isn't just Brett's campaign, it's Joe's too. If you use speak with animals or speak with plants on anything, there's a 50% chance the DM is going to reveal a sociopath in every animal you talk to for the rest of the campaign. Every animal has a 50% chance of being a fucking unhinged maniac. Half of the animals I've spoken to as Willoughby have all been like absolute maniacs. But in like a really chill way where it's like, if I hung out with you for even a day, slowly you would just totally bring me down and ruin my entire life. That's why I don't. I mean, they're dumb. I think more players should use speak with animals 24 seven. It's free content, dude. It's free content. It's free. Hang out with like bugs. <laughs> I'm sure the DM would love that, especially if you ask for the animal's name and life story. Look, man, all I'm saying is that, like, every time, at least as, like, I can only speak to the character I've played that's used speak with animals, uh, Willoughby, it's always been very helpful to the party, to the point where, at this point, I look around and I'm like, if I don't speak with animals, we may never find the plot. <laughs> if I don't talk to this animal, we may just die. I better talk to all these animals or we're dead. It's kind of like our free hint button for the campaign. The campaign is carried on the backs of five squirrels. It's a lot. It's powerful, dude. Honestly, as time's gone on for overall out of character, like not out of character, uh, like out of combat application, I think druids are stronger than wizards. At least for like stuff they can do in like exclusive spells they have and what they can do for a party. I think druids are stronger than wizards unless you're in like a fucking false. Dude, I play both of them. So unless you've got two uh, high tier uh, characters, specifically a level uh, I don't know, 16 wizard that you can come out and bring out your wizard, uh, you know, examples with like I can. Uh, I think druids are better at uh, out of combat utility. At least in ways that include the rest of the party to some extent and feel like it's not just power gamey. I'm a wizard, I cast a hole through the wall, and then I teleport the entire team 900 feet forward, skipping the entire plot, and then I, 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 sh I shoot you. I cast gun next. Wizard envy. Oh, chat. <laughs> I play a level 16 wizard <laughs> on Sundays. I feel.
feel like I'm playing a higher tier wizard than many of the people that are defending wizard have ever played. Matter of fact, I have a simulacrum. I play two of them <laughs> at the same time. Gatekeeping wizards. I'm not gatekeeping wizards. I'm just saying, looking at the spell list, I think druids have much more fun and interesting and helpful utility early game. And in most situations in out of combat scenarios, it's just, it's just the fact of the matter. Is Adelward stronger than Clurnt though? Adelward could fucking instantly kill Clurnt in one move. The PV D and D PVP is so broken. Adelward could kill the entirety of Pipe Dreamers in two seconds. He could probably do it if they were all his same level too. Because wizards are broken. My favorite druid spell, make a big hole. Druid has some cool, unique spells that I'm excited to try one day. Fighters just live. I couldn't play a fighter, dude. I honestly don't think I could play a fighter ever. I could play like a barbarian. I couldn't play a fucking fighter. Like fighters, as far as I'm concerned, watching like a late game fighter with like Sam. They need help from the DM to like actually be able to like do things beyond combat. I, I don't know how I could feel like I'm having fun when my entire class only turns on when there's a fight. And until then, basically, if I do anything, I am like fucking just like doing normal roles for everything because there's nothing I have out of combat to help with anything. At least like a rogue has like some shit they can do. Same with like a ranger. Like those kinds of classes have some stuff. But like. Ugh. Yeah, they can pick up and push the big rock. They can pick up and push the big rock up the hill. See, I've just been like, I've just had a lot more D&D &D on the mind, more so than usual, because I've been slowly workshopping my own D&D uh, &D thing. Quietly behind the scenes the last couple of weeks. That I might do eventually. I don't want to talk about it more than that. To DM, to DM. But I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm truly not saying it's ever going to happen. It's just like stuff I've been killing time by like writing down. I'm evolving. Oh no, no one, dude, the one thing, the one point that I wanted to make was like my, like if I were to run a campaign, it'd be fucking brutal. Like I, I truly want to do like. I truly want to do something where players like are, are not meant to like survive whatsoever. Like this is going to like I am going to fucking expect them to meta the fuck out of it or they will die. Like I like truly that's like that would be like the design philosophy is you better meet me here. Uh, just grab players that are like like ready to fucking go extremely hard. but I don't want to talk about the actual, like all of it's just fucking like thoughts in my head, but I did have like a, like, I got like the actual like document written down of like the setting and what like the design philosophy behind like the world was going to be. But like, I haven't really done much more beyond that. Cause I probably want to do like an off stream one off beforehand to even get like a feel for it. But it's been on my mind. Maybe use Pathfinder 2E pass. <laughs> I don't like Pathfinder system. 
I've I've now tried to play the game, uh, the many different versions of the games that have been put onto like video game form, and I don't like it that much. I appreciate people that do. I know 5e. I'm gonna stick with 5e, and I probably wouldn't actually do anything regarding DMing myself until probably one D and D comes out. Like that's like how far out this would be for me. Shut up, I'm not going back to D&D 3.5. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> None of this was supposed to be some invitation to help me pick my fucking platform for a hypothetical D&D campaign I may never do. <laughs> You gotta know that this is like one of the best fucking platforms you can do. It's called D&D 2E, bro. D&D 2E, dude. People been sleeping on it. Dude. Chat. Some of you, and here's the important thing, okay? Here's the thing a lot of people that recommend things don't get about tabletop games. When you do a new one and you want players that know how to play, that a bunch, most players I know that play D&D, if I were to put together something, no 5E. There's no investment for them to have to learn it. But if you walk up to some guy and you're like, hey, you want to play on my tabletop campaign? And they say, yeah, 5E, right? And you say, uh, no, it's uh, this one. And you just slam down a fucking big old, <laughs> big old book <laughs> in front of them. <laughs> Mo uh, like half there's gonna be people like me that are like ooh I'd love to learn a new thing and then probably struggle for like the first six sessions to even make heads or tails of it and then there's people that'll look at that book and they'll say I am busy on every day you wanted to schedule this and I'll never tell you why <laughs> I'm busy every day till I die goodbye There's also the logic of if I were to DM anything, it would have to be 5e because I would need to have played in another tabletop system to be able to DM in that tabletop system at all and understand what I'm doing even slightly. And I know 5e back to front at this point well enough that I could accurately and quickly do it. I could not do it for any other fucking platform. I literally couldn't. It's taken it's taken me like two straight years of playing D&D with friends to actually feel like, yeah, I could probably like DM something and do an okay job, like at least like a one-off. I saw Juniper yell play Blades in the Dark. I've literally I've heard of that one. I've heard of that one, but I, I've never actually seen anything of it. That's the thing is that I'm afraid to like DM any campaign for a tabletop system that I don't know everything about in and out perfectly. I think that's like my thing is that I need, it's the heist one. See, actually the funny thing is Juniper is the only person who knows, I, 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 I mentioned the concept, like the most basic back when I was like just thinking about it while I was trying to fix my PC shit. I mentioned the concept to her, so she actually knows like the original fucking idea behind like what I wanted to do, like difficulty wise and everything. I think they're the only one. Blades in the Dark is very RP heavy though. A lot of janky base building. I just, man, I'm so scared. Like, I don't want to write it. I, look, I'm not planning on doing anything with this world idea for like months. Like if I was going to do something with this, I would want to make sure that it's fleshed out really fucking hard way before then. And I'm a slow worker. <laughs> so, uh, I've got time to look at other options, but I do stand by the fact that one, I'm going to DM better and I think it's gonna be easier to get players for a different tabletop for like 5e than it is to get players and for me to DM a different system 
which is the main concern for me is that if I'm going to do it and spend the time writing the world, I don't want to beef it by being like, we're doing it in 2E, baby. We're doing it in 2E at the very end and take a big dump on all of my hard work. <laughs> Woo! Add plus 90 to your deception roll at level two. Dude, sometimes I have, I can't even do math when my game, like when my DM asks me how much damage I did in the now version of TNT when it's seven plus five. I can't, I can't do like, every time I roll an attack as Adelward, I sweat. Cause I'm like, if Joe doesn't fucking do it, then I have to. And that means I have to put together like many double digit numbers in a row three times an attack and I start sweating. Just grab a calculator now. Yeah, no shit, dude. No shit, but that's still a lot of typing. And look, everything that you can get rid of, like having to use your hands for, as far as I'm concerned, both at playing and DMing speeds up the game. And I think the best feeling in D&D is when your turns are going fucking fast and every player feels like they don't have to like wait 10 minutes for their turn to come back around. That's why I really liked it when uh, Brett swapped us to ending our own turns. Uh, because all of a sudden the game started moving way faster because we weren't waiting for like everyone to be like, I'm done. And then for like someone to click, oh, well, let's move on. They just were doing it themselves. I want my game to move fast, dude. I don't like waiting around. But the same thing that would happen if I was like DM2 is I'm just so impatient that I'd be like, You guys, you're on deck! You're on deck! You better know what you're doing the second your turn comes around! That's just me. I'm so fucking antsy about shit like that. have two calculators ready. Oh God. Play faster. The players who only start planning their turn when it's their turn. Look, it's gonna be, I think I have some wildly fast turns, especially on Adelward for how much they have going on. I can't wait to be playing a martial character in Joe's next campaign. I'm gonna play a rogue and have my turns truly be so fast that people can't process that I took it at all. That's gonna be really fun for me. He always does text builds. I actually haven't done a strength build, but that's because most of the strength uh, classes in the game are, uh, to me, a little boring unless multi-classed. <laughs> uh, for me personally, I can't. I just can't. Plus, uh, dex is your AC. And unless you're rolling plate, dex is where it's at for all characters. There's no benefit to being a strength build in D&D unless you're a barbarian, really. Um, literally, unless you're a barbarian, there's no reason to build strength, even as like a fighter. You get more from dex and you have less money investment as a dex fighter. Even barbs are con. Yeah, but barbarians benefit from uh, reckless attack and I think rage... Right, they can only add those things if they're using a strength attack. I just dorked out fucking hard, but I'm pretty sure you can only use a lot of barbarians' attack systems and, like, mechanics by using strength attacks. So dex barb is kind of not as ideal. Yeah, I know things. 
Ready for DMing for sure. Dude, I'm, su I'm such a fucking dork for rules, dude. <laughs> Such a fucking absolute, like, clown. I've made a rogue barbarian. It's dumb but funny. Dude, I've been playing with a rogue barbarian on Thursdays. It's dumb but funny. It was especially dumb but funny when he lost the fucking mutation that made him, like, actually peak performance on a player's whim. That was actually... Dude, honestly, if I was in Shane's like position that would have fucked up my like the the gamer in me that would have fucked up my mental so bad if i went from having like like actual expertise in the thing that i had built my character around and then had it taken away by a player that didn't know the reason why it existed to begin with on a like whim holy shit I would have never recovered. <laughs> Tomato, you're the reason I decided to try out a Blade Singer for the first time as a player. They're simply too powerful. Now, let me raise you one, okay? If you're not too high level. Blade Singer, max intelligence into a fucking ar artificer, uh. Battlesmith. Become the. Become the god! That's one of the biggest regrets I have with Addle Wars. I didn't make him an Artificer Battlesmith and drop the decks entirely. Could have made him a god, decided not to go meta, and then all my friends still thought I played meta. <laughs> I could have gone harder. I could have. I could have gone pro. That's just Bladesinger, baby. Yeah, the problem is, honestly, Bladesinger is kind of boring. I really like it as like a mechanical thing, but most wizard subclasses are front loaded as hell or really boring, one or the other. Like Bladesinger, well, you're done with Bladesinger pretty much after level six. Uh, you're done. Once they get their level six or five or whatever extra attack cantrip thing, you don't need to level them anymore. The rest of their stuff isn't that good. Not in comparison to, like, anything else. Uh, it's just kind of a bummer. I, I Honestly, the strongest wizard is Illusion. <laughs> I wish I had done Illusion, dude, but it wouldn't make sense for my character to have gone Illusion. I, see, in Pipe Dreamers, the mutations are cool and stuff, but for any character with self-preservation... You'd in character want to get rid of radiation pretty quickly. Thankfully, Pipe Dreamer, uh, I'll have death wishes. Yeah, it's hard because we actually talked about it as a group, like off stream. Where we were like, man, it's a bummer because like out of character, everyone knows like that we have a lot of leeway to kind of play around with this unique mechanic to our campaign. But in character, no one in their right mind, aside from like one or two players who have characters that are specifically very chaotic towards that like like don't they just don't care about their own health in the same way uh most will decline that kind of thing because it's uh dangerous to their health <laughs> like with Bo, i'm just horrified that they're addicted to die well look here's the thing uh Bo is only 50 percent of the way to death but, and we also, we also talked about this, Lena did play Bo at that point as if they were a zombie at 50% of the way to death, which is why it escalated to the point where everyone was like, you gotta get fixed. You can't just be a drooling zombie. So it's really more about, I think, how people decide to RP their mutations, you know? Like, if instead of Drask just getting buffer and just being buff boy, he started going, <laughs> every time he talked, people would have been like, Drask, you need to go to the fucking doctor. You have to go to the doctor. You don't talk with words anymore. You go, <laughs> instead. 
you know, and that would have, I think, spurred people to be like, hey, fix your shit. See, but normally I would say like, Lena doesn't care about mutations because she can specifically cure herself. Why would she care? But after the whole fiasco we had of going to find a doctor for Felsic and then Lena still not realizing the entire time as we gave her hints over and over again that she could cure Felsic's radiation mutation. I do not genuinely believe that Lena clocks that. I just think she's having fun in the space and that's rad and cool. God, that was still the funniest fucking shit. That whole episode, I was like, damn, this is one of the most, like, this is one of the craziest fucking detours we've ever made for a solution that's, like, instantly applicable right now. <laughs> Oh fuck. I wish I could I, I I wish I could like I should just go back and watch that episode again on my own sometime because oh my god. Fuck that episode was so funny. All the way up until money exchanged hands. I was like any minute now, Lena's gonna have Bo cure Felsic and they're not gonna pay $300 to fix their illness. Any minute now. I do think it's, you know what's actually really funny though about Pipe Dreamers? Think, I, I, I truly can't believe that Felsic starred with so much money and they have yet to actually spend any of it for like reasons that would help our group. Instead, it's been constantly just money poured into a toilet and flushed. <laughs> it's so funny. It's really funny. <laughs> We spent like time going to get them their money from like the the fucking like the the wrestling place and all of it's been like poured into different toilets and flushed away. It's good shit. I've been thinking about the mutation system. It may be getting a facelift soon. Ooh. 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 And by facelift, you mean making it even more obnoxious for everyone to remove them, right? <laughs> Let's give them more RP consequences and also make it so it's harder to take away. Okay. Make it fucking hurt. People are... I, the fact that Zug hasn't caught it yet is some bullshit. Some bullshit. Plus anything so that Lena can clock that she can cure and could the whole time. Anything. Including daily slash weekly caps on Radrum. Ooh. I like that stuff. Because right now, like, the logic behind me applying radiation to the team is I do not care because at the end of the day, all of it can be undone so easily that there is truly no reason for me to even clock how much radiation I'm applying to a teammate because there's no cap on how much can be removed. And over the course of a long rest, we could literally just get rid of everyone's stacks. Zug avoids the bombs so hard. I know, bro. It hurts. <laughs> I know, bro. You know how many times I've tried to high-five Zug and he's fucking ignored me? No one else would fucking do that, dude. The idea is if someone is cautious but is still hit with rads, they can clear it out daily easy, but those... Who you know, drink it up. It may take some time. Yeah, I mean, it definitely makes sense if you're fucking soaking radiation 24-7, climbing all over the bomb and stuff and doing whatever. Uh, you should have to pay the price with not having it, like, snapped away over the course of, like, two casts of lesser radiate, like, lesser restoration. It makes sense.
Anyways, didn't mean to pivot the comment. Nah, dude, I like hearing about balance changes to my character's bullshit. It's all interesting to me. But I do reckon it's just about time to head on into the caves. I do reckon. I do reckon it's about time to get these dwarves into the mines. Now, there are some disclaimers going into this one. Um, I did the basic tutorial and refreshed myself on some Dwarf Fortress stuff. I am rusty as hell. If I ask for help, you are allowed to give it, but please do not give me a bunch of unrequested advice and input. It's going to piss me off and you're going to end up catching a ban. Uh, I know the mods will end up doing it, so I'm warning you now. Okay? If I ask then I'm welcoming you to tell me what to do at that point. I'm sure it will happen. This game's got a lot of stuff going on. And even with the UI changes and the binding changes, there's a lot of there's a lot of crust. Okay. This game came out crusty. I'm gonna do my best out there as a guy who's dabbled in a lot of dwarf fortress at a basic level, but it's never really gone like super, super deep into the depth of it. <clears throat> Okay. I'll ask if I need help. And I'm sure I will. Trick is to wait till I do. Okay. Understood? Everyone in agree? Everyone uh, everyone understand? Does everyone understand? Okay. Glad everyone understands and there's not a single person who doesn't understand. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you for the Oh yeah, the new pinned thing. That's, uh, that's actually a good feature that Twitch added, wouldn't you know it? Was it worth taking all my revenue in June? Twitch! I hope so. Maybe that did cost the entirety of the revenue split change come June to make that. The amount of extra RAM it takes. I'm literally so excited, bruh. Benji, I know you're excited. Of all people, I knew you would be excited for Dwarf Fortress stuff, finally. Get on out here. That is no surprise. You've been... Wow, you've been sending me a... freaking DM about every Dwarf Fortress news outlet article since this fucking thing started. I'm happy for you. Okay. Dwarf Fortress. There may be some adjusting I have to do to the UI. But we'll uh, cross that bridge when we get to it. Originally, the UI was for some reason like cutting off for me. So I may have to change some settings once we get in. But we're going to make a new world. We're going to make a new land. And these dwarves will probably fucking die. Because, like, honestly, I'm still rusty at some things. But I'm going to try my ding-dang hardest. Really, the biggest weakness I have in these games is uh, um, a lack of commitment to anything I build and a desire to not make my place look like I spilled like a bunch of garbage all over the ground. And that's hard for me. That's hard for me. All right. Welcome to Dwarf Fortress. Prepare to guide your stout charges to fortune in a world fraught with many perils. We'll begin by creating your world and watching the region's history unfold. Once this process is complete, you can prepare a group and send them out to seek wealth deep in the mountains. As you dig deeper and more citizens take up residence in your outpost, your doings will attract attention both wanted and unwanted. Deal with challenges as they arise, ar arise. and you may one day find that your humble settlement has grown to become a mountain home, the center of your civilization. Arise, arise. All right, we're going to stick to default settings uh, because, frankly, okay, come on. I'm, this, I, I'm, I just want a default kind of experience here. Let's just get something default. I go into the detailed mode. <coughs> I go into detailed mode. I change the percentage of creatures to zero percent. Okay, now we're just going to go back to basic and up. Oh. I think I just fucked up everything by not pressing basic and going into details. We may have fucked up the world. The world might be dead. It's 
probably fine. Psych. New world. <laughs> restart, restart. Yep. I read. Creating a main new. The eternal planets. It's the, uh, the other planets were rejected. All other eight of them were rejected. All right, so right now it's writing the history of this world for us. These are all simulated events, chat, that are happening. These characters are real, and we may someday bump into the goblin, uh, Nako block poisons. It could happen. He's out there. But anyways, this is our world. A man, a man in you. Uh, that world does not really roll off the tongue. In a man, a man in you. I'm just gonna go ahead and make one that sounds better because I fucking hate that name. I'm just gonna go ahead and make another world. That one sucks. That one sucks, we're just gonna get a new one. All right, I got plenty of fucking SSD space. We're just gonna make another one. Fuck that one. Plus, I didn't even like block poisons. The goblin. Try again. No, our goblin! Everyone in that world lived for a hundred years and then died instantly as I left them. <laughs> Creating Gatson's gut skill. The past Cyclopean plain. Now that's a world. <laughs> Geth's guts a gill. Geth, Geth, Gut Gsil. Geth Gutsil. Geth Gutsgil. Gisil. Geth Gutsgisil. Geth, Geth Gutsgisil. Geth Gutsgisil. Get Gutskasil. I got there. Get Gutskasil. <laughs> ah, yes. The many legends of the realm of Get Gutskasil. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> ah, yes. Very good. In 89, the slippery group <laughs> of the nation of garlic founded Trade Escort. Okay. All right, well, the Slippery Group is out there. They're wandering around. Let's let's lock it in. Get Gutskasil. I got there. All right. So adventurer mode is not in this version of the game yet, which is fine. That mode is a fucking absolute train wreck. I don't know how people... It feels like purgatory to play adventure mode in Dwarf Fortress. I can't stand it. Wrong. It's so fun. It's a mess, dude. It's a mess to play Kata. I can't. Fortress. All right, so we're gonna do the tutorial mainly because I'd like another refreshment also that it will help uh, chat understand what's going on. But so first of all, we gotta pick where we're actually gonna live. Once we click somewhere, it'll zoom in. What we wanna do is kind of pick a place that looks like it's kind of far away from a good amount of stuff and ideally uh, no aquifer. I just don't really like aquifers underneath my places. I think it's... Uh, I think it's fucking bullshit. Uh, so I'd like to avoid aquifers if we can help it. So I'm just gonna zoom in like... Oh, is that a giant goblin fort right there? That's a huge brass toll. Well, let's just take a look around. We just want to pick a place with no aquifer if we could help it. Oh my god. <laughs> Chad, I almost choked to death. 
Are you okay? No! I started <laughs> On your spit? No! No, I started to take half a sip of, like, my five-hour energy, and then... <laughs> and then halfway through, I was like, this tastes bad. I don't want it. <laughs> I thought it was down my throat. So I started to clear my throat, and it still tasted bad. And then I just started to cough. I'm fine. Everything's fine now. Everything's, everything's fine. I'm fine. Uh, we're gonna settle here in the ocean. You can't just do that. Okay. Well... Ah, yes. Right here. We shall settle here. In the- wait, temperature scorching. Ah, uh, well, we're, we live under the ground. We- I want to live in the mountains, though. But all this place like, infested by dwarves. Ah, yes, right here. The waning mire of the imprisoned land. Very deep soil, light aquifers. Iron, gold, silver, copper, nickel, zinc, platinum, tin, and lead, and flux stone. We have humans two days travel to the east. Very good. I'm sure this light aquifer definitely won't end up being an issue at any point. Surely not. Hang on. I'd rather, I'd rather not have very deep soil. I kind of like deep soil or like, like some soil. Like I, I'd like something a little bit closer to the surface so I can actually like farm. Little soil, some soil, deep soil. We'll do deep soil right here. Yes. Okay, this place is looking good. We're gonna put ourselves... Oh yeah, this gets us a little... Now, this spot right here gets us a little bit of everything. And it even gets us the stream of waned packs. This evening, this gets us a little bit of everything. You selected an area with a light aquifer. Water may need to be pumped out or carried away. Giant aquifer is a water that uh, seeps in through cave walls. Yeah, basically the solution to it is, uh, I believe, A, just don't fucking dig that way. Or B, uh, you dig like a, you put like a grate on the ground next to it and you make like a big old, like, hole beneath the thing. So that all the water drains into a giant hole you've dug and then evaporates faster than it's draining in. Because it's only a light one, so it doesn't actually fill too quickly. It's kind of more of like a slow dripping that just never goes away. But it does evaporate. So, I'm not too worried. If it was a deep one, I'd have to care. All right. Enemies, normal. Economy, n normal. Prepare my journey carefully. But chat, the thing is, do I care about preparing my journey carefully? Or would I rather just get thrown right in without caring at all? What do I, what, what do I really care? I don't really care. I don't think I care. <laughs> we sure don't. See, all I care about is that my dwarves know to pack plump helmet seeds in the caravan. But do they? But without me telling them, will they pack the one thing they need to live? Surely they're... Chat! <laughs> Chat, surely they'll remember to pack plump helmets. For sure, chat, they're gonna pack plump helmets. We don't need to pack it for them. Everyone knows plump helmets are one of the most valuable items in the game. A dwarven outpost, you have arrived. After a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidden wilderness beyond, your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make it outpost for the glory of all of Lorban Sil. There are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance, whether by bolt, plow, or hook. Provided, provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs you. But it is spring now. Enough time to delve, secure lodgings, ere the alligator men get hungry. Huh? The what men? The huh, what now? The who's? The gator men? 
You're telling me there's alligator men on this mountainside? I did not. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here at this place. Kill running, bronze burn, strike the earth. Okay, well, chat, we managed to park our caravan, this nice little parking spot right on the side of a big old mountain. Let's take a look at this beautiful place. Uh, welcome to uh, ground floor. We have a lovely little uh, stream here. We have a lovely little stream. We've parked our guys here right on the mountainside. I guess this will be our mountain. Let me zoom out properly. This right here will be, I suppose, our mountain. Right here. Yeah, I don't need controller advice, chat. You can spare me that. Uh, I know the basic bindings. This right here is our beautiful mountainside. And let's see if they packed plump helmets in the caravan. Okay, we got plump helmet spawns, baby. Chat, we've got plump helmet spawns. I repeat, they packed plump helmet spawns. We have plump helmets. Very good. Very good. Very good. We packed the basics of survival. How high this mountain? Not high. More of a small hill. Yeah, it's all kind of... We're just kind of in a hill. But that's fine. We just need a place to park uh, our... We just, look, chat. It's just like... Here's the thing. It's just... It's just a nice little hole we can dig into. It's got a little, it's got a little perfect spot for us to do our thing. I'm kind of going to live in a little Hobbit Hill uh, kind of situation. But let's take a look at these idiots. Who do we even have on the Ding Dang team? Because we got we to gotta know what these guys are all about. Uh, sorry, I got to lock my mouse to this game. It has, it, it has a windowed mode, but that window can't be made borderless, which is super scuffed and I hate it. Look at this little idiot. Do you guys see this little guy? This little guy right here? Look at this little idiot. <laughs> yeah, what's your deal, dude? No job, no skills, no skills, no skills, idiot. No, any health problems I should be aware of? A large mammalian herbivore living in cold climates. It has large antlers and sought after fur. He is slow to tire, but he's susceptible to disease. His hair is pumpkin. His skin is raw umber. His eyes are black. Like a demon. Okay, well, I have to name this guy something. Okay. Okay, so this is Stray Little Idiot. Uh, let's read his personality. He has very good creativity and a way with words, but he has quite poor focus and next to no natural musical ability. He very easily falls into love and develops positive feelings. He is greatly pleased by his own looks and accomplishments. He enjoys the company of others. He likes to keep things practical without delving too deeply into the abstract. He often feels lustful. He doesn't handle stress well. He has a greedy streak. He lives a fast-paced life. He isn't given to flights of fancy. This is a random creature. This isn't even like a dwarf. This is like a this is a creature. This is not. Let's talk. Let's hang out with like a dwarf for a second. Atis Ungabled, the miner, seventy-four years old. Hmm. Hmm. So what's your deal? Wait, who's, you know, I don't care about anyone, but who's our caravan leader? Let me just check that. Our expedition leader is Manam Kustithithrigoth. Okay. I don't care about that right now. I know how to do the diplomacy thing. Where is this lady? But okay, so this is the, this is the boss. This is the boss. Why this obsession with weapons and battle? I don't understand some people. Okay, well, that's not a good fucking... That's not a good opener. Uh, what the fuck did she just say? <laughs> what? Huh? Huh? What did you say? Hang on. She has a sum of patience and an ability to read emotions fairly well, but she has meager creativity and a meager ability with social relationships. 
Well, that's not... Doesn't sound like a very good expedition leader. Can I find someone with better traits than that? Uh, a great feel for social relationships and willpower. Uh, very bad analytical abilities. No. Uh, let me see here. Uh, good intellect and ability to focus. Iffy sense for music and a poor kinesthetic sense. Who are you? 61 year old. Ushulier Lambu Buck. Lambu Buck. Well, Jeff, right now I'm not going to reappoint anyone because I think they would actually make, uh, what's her name? Uh, Manam pissed off. I think they would actually ruin their day if the second we arrived at the expedition site, I was just like, you're out. Fuck off. And made them like a random miner. So we're going to skip that. It's so great when everybody just gets along. <laughs> this expedition's finished. We're going to die out here. Okay, well, hey, look, first things first, we're gonna just dig out some of this old cave. We're gonna center it. There, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. There's no way to center it the way I want. Hang on, let me just... Now, let's all just hold up a second here. Just wanna take a look. Just wanna take a look at what might be the best place for us to put our ding-dang entrance. Guess right here. I guess we'll do a two-by-two. Two by two hallway, dig in right here and just get us into the mountain, go from there. Now, if someone could just dig that, please. There we go. Adis Ungobbled is a, a he mines. He's going to mine. He's going to do his thing. We're just going to carve this out a little bit and move stuff around. We're not going to live at this level. We're going to dig down. But uh, we're just going to carve out some of this and get a little... Basic interior stockpiles to move everything in from outside. I don't like my stuff being out there. Kind of freaks me out. So we're just gonna... None of this is gonna be very feng... There's not gonna be much feng shui, okay, to be seen for miles right now. Okay. Actually, I don't want this here. Hold up, where's my cancel button? Uh, there it is. It's X. I, I, I like when my cancel button's C for some reason. Should probably rebind that. Okay... The weird thing I've noticed is that some of the bindings don't work unless you press escape before them. Which, uh, wigs me out. That I'm struggling to remember. I have to constantly press escape to cancel, like, a selection before I can go back to using bindings for other things. Uh, and that's hard to get used to. I'm just gonna carve out a big old basic hole for all of our current caravan stuff just to move it out of the hole out of the whole outside situation what the fuck is this guy doing you shouldn't waste your life on revenge oh he's fishing he's a proficient fisher dwarf well that's good because we have loads of water loads of deep deep water well done coolette you you will fish damn right you're gonna fucking fish Damn right, man. Damn right. What is that? A goose? A stray gander? A clumsy, tough little creature? They're not gonna last very long out here. No, sir. Alright, we're gonna cut down some trees. I just wanna get some of these trees. Grab some wood. You know how it is. Get some of that chopped down, moved into the base. Then we'll start actually cutting this place out and making a little home for ourselves. We just need some wood. Yes, sirree. Don't fall into the water. Don't fall. Did you really just cut the entire tree into the water? The whole thing. Who was that? I fell the tree. I'm very satisfied. Well, as long as you had fun, I guess. I guess if you had fun fucking doing it. Go fell another. Fell that one. Idiot. Okay, now this is cut out. We're just gonna make a fast stockpile right here. Just so we have a place for, for all of our stuff, you know. Just so we have a basic start here. Everything will go here. Aside from... Actually, I just have to always do it like this. All except for refuse, please. No refuse. 
No refuse, please. Don't put any of the garbage in here. Thanks. Get everything in there now! Haul it all in! What's that? I guess it was just a text box. I said, hey. Get it all in there. We got work to do. All right. While that's happening, it's time to dig out the next part. Which is to say, a really just ugly stairwell. We don't know where we're going, but we do need... We need to get to soil. I don't remember if clay were a clay like works as like a uh, mediocre soil. We're looking for real soil so we can farm our plump helmets. What is that? Mussels? Oh, I'm glad that that guy's been fishing. We didn't start with those. They fished that up themselves nice and fresh. Not bad. Haul, that, haul all that stuff in, folks. Get it on in here. Come on. Very good. Look at them. Yeah, most of these animals are gonna fucking die. I don't know what to say about that. Most of these animals are gonna fucking die out here. Especially little idiot. Especially, especially little idiot. Unrefrigerated muscles. <laughs> It's fine! The muscles are gonna... It's gonna be fine, Chad. Everyone just calm the heck down. Everyone just calm the heck down. Everyone take it easy for a second. Everything's gonna be fine. We just need to get our stuff situated. Let's get... Is that bees? Did I just see bees in the stock? There's bees. There's a swarm of acorn flies. Wait, is that... Yo, those can't be in the fucking stockpile. No, 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 no. Why is there a swarm of acorn flies in the stockpile? They can't be in there. See that right there? Where's my, like, creature list? <laughs> I'm not seeing the acorn flies. They're just acorn flies. They're just flies. We're not going to get upset about it. What I do see is some giant red-winged blackbirds and giant alligators. Can I get a look at the... Oh, fuck. They did... Wait, hang, hang on. They didn't feel anything while in conflict. They're a psycho. <laughs> oh no, they're a psycho. Okay, we have psycho giant alligators in the river. Don't go to the river. Great ability to focus, an amazing memory, a lot of willpower, good intuition, good kinesthetic sense. But she has poor creativity and an atrocious spatial sense. They don't know where they are. Yeah. They're, they lack confidence in their abilities. She tends to ask others for help with difficult decisions. She's trusting. She doesn't tend to hold on to grievances. She isn't particularly curious about the world. She's quick to form negative views about things. She doesn't focus on material goods, only kill. She does not mind being outdoors, at least for a time. Okay, well, uh, look, good news is they're way over there at the river. And we are not way over there. We are way over here. Thus, but thus I don't care. Okay, let's start digging down. We need to find out, we need to start doing our thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then we're just gonna carve down to like elevation 30 for now, which ironically doesn't really get me Pat, like, man, we are up there, dude. We're up there. We're up there, man. Holy shit. This is a big fucking mountain we parked ourselves directly on the peak of. Well. Start digging down. Good for me, I guess. We can... We'll have so much hill... 
Still on, still on sandy clay loams. Where did it say the soil was for me? It said I had some soil. I mean, we have soil on the surface, but plump helmets need uh, underground, like mud. I need mud. I check all the walls here. Nothing yet. We're gonna keep going down for now. Keep going. Keep on going down the stairs. For now. Down to elevation twenty. Doesn't clay, doesn't clay count as soil? It does, but it's not fertile soil. It's not as fertile as it could be. So if I can find some going straight down for a little bit, I'm gonna take it. I'm not gonna check for too long though, because we do need to like. Uh oh. Oh, there's the aquifer. <laughs> Don't dig any farther down. Cancel all of this. Stop! Everyone stop! Found it. H2O. Okay, so that's about as low down as we can go. Note it. I mean, I guess I'm just gonna... I guess I'll just use some of this clay loam that we've got to farm up my stuff. The normal soil in tunnels works for growing. No need to... Oh, I actually was reading that, but I didn't ask, I guess. Chet, can I use, uh, can I use the clay? The silty clay, uh, the silty clay? I'm, I'm open to farming advice since I haven't seen what I need here. I know I can, but, like, uh, would it be smarter for me to use, like, wait until I have the better stuff? Caverns are much better for farming. Yeah, but I can't just get down there. There's water beneath me, man. I have to go around that. We need to... You want to go to caverns in the steam... Well, I can save my stuff and just fucking truly... Well, either way, we need to dig out a place for the dwarves. So I'm going to start that right away at this level for now. We'll build just like a tunnel. To carve out something for them. And start like setting up some workshops and like move the stockpile down here and have the top one like for like wood. We need to set up stuff. We can use the we can use fishing for our food for now. That's not that's like an option. We already fished up like twenty things of like fish in like a fucking half of a day. So the, I'm not too concerned about food. We need a way to make beer. We need all of our workstations made. Oh look at that! We're already getting some gems and stuff. Ain't that something? That's something. Okay, well, I'm just gonna, like, really... Gonna really, like, just, like... Carve out a big old work section here. Like, a big old... A big old chunk of, uh, of meat here. Just for the... Just so we have, like, a uh, fucking ground... Ground cleared. Go from there. Yeah, we gotta make sure these dwarves are happy. We gotta move them all underground. Do you have to worry about cave-ins? Do I look like I'm worried about cave-ins? Do I, do I seem like I'm worried about cave-ins to you? <laughs> have I done anything so far that makes it look like I'm worried about cave-ins? The cat's helping. The cat's trying their hardest out here. Look, this is, this is like... This is a starter sector. We're just going to dig out a bunch of space. And then we're going to just move all of our crap down here. Because I don't really like having my stockpile on the surface. That was more of a starter stockpile. Uh, but there are some things I do need to start putting down. Uh, let's see here. So we're going to need to... We're going to need to start setting up some stuff. Specifically, we're going to need a fishery. Because we have people fishing. So we need a place to process fish into edible food. We'll do that on the surface. Because the water is on the surface. So I'm going to carve out a little side section here. And this will be where our surface workshops go. Directly parallel to the surface stockpile. Like so. Water features what face? I don't have any choice, man! We live off of these two ponds and we dare not venture to the river because God forbid.
forbid you go down there. You will be devoured by giant alligators. We don't go there. We fish in these ponds for mussels forever. And we'll be damn well pleased doing it forever. I really wish more of you would uh, use your pickaxes. I should probably tell them to. Hang on. You. Your job. Mason. More like your job right now. Okay. Hang on. Where the hell are you? Where's my tasks? Actually, work orders. Tasks. Where's my thing that... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Labor. Get this out of here. Labor. You. <laughs> Currently, we have nothing for you. You're digging now. And you. You're digging now. Get to it. Think we have time to wait around? For winter to come and kill us all? No. Get the hell in there. Can you show the giant birds? I don't want to see the giant birds. To be frank, I just don't really want to see the giant birds. But I'll show the giant birds. He's exasperated when caught in the rain. He didn't feel anything while in caught. There's a lot of psychos around, huh? Can I get, like, a description of how large this thing is? Because I know it says giant, but, like, you know. How giant? A huge monster. Wait. Hold up. A huge monster in the form of a giant red-winged blackbird. He is extremely agile, but he's quick to tire. He is very small. So he's like normal? Like a normal sized bird then? Well, whatever. He's like fucking a million miles in the air, as you can see, so. I'm not too worried. Just keep, keep on digging away. And start setting on some of our workshops, specifically the, uh, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to fish. Fishing's gonna be our thing. So we're gonna get a fishing thing here. We'll make it out of alder logs. Our characters will know how to process the meat. Bring that stuff downstairs. We'll, uh, how's the, how's the downstairs part? Oh, there we go. A big old disgusting old pile of garbage all cut out. It's gonna be ugly. The first fucking hole we build is gonna be ugly as shit, chat. And that's okay. We're gonna make the basics of survival. I want a carpentry station. That's gonna be upstairs next to this one once they've dug it out. Let's go. The music, you know, the music's really good in this game when it's here. Wherever it is. Carpentry station, down, also made out of alder logs, if and you will. Okay. Very good, get that finished. I'm going to go ahead and say that we're going to start preparing raw fish forever. This workshop is free for anybody to use. Good. As it should be. This is the most important thing in the entire colony. <laughs> As of now, this is the most important thing in the entire colony, and I want everyone harvesting fish. Where's that fisherman? Hang on, where's the fish dwarf? You better be- <gasps> oh! Did he have to swim to get over here? Oh wait, no, he's down at the bottom corner. There's no alligators in this. Or is it? No. Oh, this is not a- this is like a tiny stream. This is a microscopic stream. Okay, yeah, this is fine. What are you doing? Dabbling fish cleaner. What do you, prepare raw fish. Oh, they're going all the way down here to collect. I gotta tell them that it's okay to put the fish up here. Beer's running low. Beer hasn't moved. Everyone calm down, okay? Everyone just take it easy. Fish is gonna be flowing and then we're gonna have, we're gonna have everything we need. I don't really need that at maximum power. Now here's the problem, chat, here's the issue. Usually you'd make your beer out of plump helmets, but we don't really have a cavern beneath us at the moment to harvest, uh, you know, the plump helmets at. 
I'm gonna go ahead and just take care of some stuff that's important before we worry about that. Okay? I've got some plans. I've got some schemes. All right? Just give me a minute to figure out my stuff. Now, here's what I'm thinking. I need to take a look at the animals we have because there's a chance we might be able to use some to... Oh, these are horses. All right, we're just going to eat them. I thought that we had, like, actual, like, good animals for, like, survival. We don't. <laughs> I don't... Chad, I don't know what else to say. We're going to eat them when we need food. That Their value was to get us here. Now they're done. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks. Have a good day. All right, well, at the same time, I quickly want to make a couple uh, things and kind of adjust the stockpiles a little here. So we're going to put a stockpile up here, right here, except this is going to be exclusively custom. All gems. Okay, I said all gems. I said all gems. All gems. Yep. All gems. All rocks for now. Actually, I guess it's easier to say it like this. All of this, but uh, none of this. None of that. No wood. I don't want the wood here, and I don't want the fish here. Uh, matter of fact, I just... Yeah, none of that. Actually, no. All of that, but none of that or that. Thanks. Good. I just don't want the wood and the fish products up here because everything down here is going to be like, uh, like for construction and etc. We do need a place to dump our trash because that's going to be a situation pretty soon. So here's what I'm thinking. Let the alligators have it. <laughs> Let the alligators have it. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Let the alligators feast upon it. I do not care. Except. This is where all our garbage goes. <laughs> yep, let the alligators eat it. All right. Good. Go, my characters. Move the stockpile. And at the same time, it's time to begin. Workshop. We need to begin the basics. Stone worker, done. Make it out of alder logs. No, dolomite. When you start burning through some of our rocks, they're gonna get everywhere. Workshop, we're also gonna need so soap maker. We don't need that, who cares? No one cares about soap. We will, however, okay, wanna make sure that we have a metalsmith. I feel like at some point we probably packed anvils. We did. I'm also gonna use some of the jet we have. Cool. We're also, okay, gonna get ourselves a forge. We currently don't have coal or really anything like that for fire. We could technically make it out of, uh, you know, we can make charcoal to then use to smell. For now, we'll just make a normal smelter. Right there. Actually, wait, no, not right there. Not right there, I'm wrong. We're gonna make a normal smelter. The music's great. Uh, we're gonna make a normal smelter. Right. Yeah, because I want a little pathway in the middle for more stuff later. Out of some more of the jet. And the last thing we need, okay, here is a specifically no not crafts not we don't want crafts no one cares about crafts uh jeweler we want to cut gems because that's going to be value for trading later we'll also make it out of the gem now i'm going to send a thing up here because i need to make a trade depot so when eventually the trade folk show up they'll have a place to park and we're gonna put it right here, <laughs> next to the alligators. They'll get to enjoy such beautiful, beautiful scenery 
as the alligators emerge out of the water and devour them. If any elves show up, kill them. Damn, man, what are you, a psycho? What the fuck did you... Man, are you fucking crazy, man? We'll put the trade depot right here next to this cliff. Make it out of alder law. No, we'll make it out more jet. Yep. Very good. Now the dwarves are making a bunch of stuff. The fish, the mussel is being processed and clean. Imagine being a proficient, like, em like employed in the past farmer and record keeper, like librarian. And then someone runs up to you. They run up to Rawl, Olsen Asab, and they just grab them by the collar of their shirt and they just say, you, you wash fish now. Paul's been fishing up tons of fish and we don't know how to farm. So you need to start gutting fish. She's doing well. <laughs> She's actually handling it very well. Okay, cool. You go ahead and farm. Get that fish going. Are they still... Hang on, I need to make sure this works. No one's moving the stuff I ordered them to move. Oh wait, no, they are. There's just not, there's just, this just is a lot of stuff that won't be moved no matter what. Okay, well, here's what I'm going to do. What the heck? The game's paused. Are there 18 people here? Are there like five people all stacked, like harvesting muscle? All working at this station like maniacs? I mean, that's fine. There was actually something I was going to do instead, which I think will make this easier for the future. We're we just going to carve out this spot right here. Actually, we don't need to. I'm just going to make a little stockpile right here. And we're just going to say that all the raw fish will go right there. We're going to make this place disgusting. This is going to be the raw fish section. Yep. Now this spot right here... <laughs> this spot right here is for corpses. All. All dead bodies go here next to the carpentry room. Yep. All corpses. Because what I'm actually going to do... Carve out a little bit more space here. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna put a butcher right next to this place. Yep. Look at everyone working along, doing their thing. This is not a mistake. This is not a mistake, and no, the horrible smell of all these dead bodies won't make anyone go crazy. All right? We are doing good on food, the amount, a lot of people are really just doing the fish thing. And I thought I made it clear that that wasn't a big deal anymore, but I'm glad they're, we're getting a lot of muscle and f like fish. Like the fishing is our best industry. It may be the only thing we use to get out of here alive. And that's cool. Look at all that. We got rainbow trout. We need a way to cook it. Whoa, look at this with the onyx. It totally clashes with everything around it. All right, anyways. Uh, we do look jet at this point. It seems like, what day is it? Mid-spring? I'm going to say that we want to start cutting gems uh, infinitely forever. Uh, if someone can cut gems, I want them cutting gems because uh, we're not always going to have them. But if we do, I want them getting cut. Okay, because we're going to need to sell these. We're going to need something we can sell. Okay, for when the trade caravan comes. Or else we're all dead. Alright, and it, the smelter. We don't have fuel. This is for later. At the metalsmith's forge. We don't need any of that yet. That was for later. Why has this not been done? Did we run out of dolomite? Why was that? Why did they? Who Who canceled the creation of the stoneworkers workshop? We need to make doors. <laughs> make two doors. Make two doors. We need to, we need to protect ourselves. 
I, I made it so I specifically only asked us so we could make doors. I wanted it made so we could create doors. All right. What's that? Smoky quartz. Harvesting. All right, chat. So as things are starting to stabilize a little, we still, we're going to need beer. <laughs> Most people are really fixated on the fish thing. I'm getting worried that I confused these dwarves. Oh, no, they're eating. Wait, no, they're not fixated. They're eating raw fish. <laughs> wait, guys. <laughs> guys, wait. <laughs> guys, guys, wait. Wait, don't do that. Guys. Oh, fuck. Um. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Uh. Chat, believe it or not, all, not all fish should be eaten raw just because they do with sushi. Doesn't mean all fish is like that, guys. That's like super duper not a- Guys, stop! Stop! It's probably fine unless one of them reacts. Oh, he's drunk, though. <laughs> he's dr He's drunk, though. He, he's, he's not thinking right. They're all having a good time eating fucking raw fish. Raw, uncooked muscle that's been sitting out in the sun for hours is what they're feasting upon, and the booze is the only reason they're alive. I guess I just don't appreciate art. Dude, we gotta start getting alcohol into their systems. But I'm waiting for, like, I don't know this area to be dug out because this is like the upstairs food sector right now for the colony and I don't know where our miners are. She's kind of wondering what's up with that. Because I was going to carve out this spot here. But uh, I don't know where the miner is. Where is he anyways? He's cutting gems right now. Sir? Sir, Addis, I know that I may have made it seem like cutting gems was the most important thing in our society. You should be cutting rocks up from the fucking walls. I, you told him to. I'll be the judge of that. Labor. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, cause it doesn't look like I fucking hmm. You will only do your assigned task, Addis. Only will you mine. For the rest of your days, your job is to hit rocks. And you're gonna be goddamn pleased with it. Get to work! He fell asleep. He actually fell unconscious. <laughs> Come on, that is the entire colony depends on just you digging. He's sleeping. Are the fucking doors done? Oh, look at that door. Look at these doors, though. Let's get these doors plugged in at the front. All right, we just need we need doors. Build. Build. Furniture. No. Doors. Door. Door and door. Oh, can I not? Door and... Door. And then we do it again. Door. 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 Alright, let's get doors. <laughs> real fake doors? No, these are real doors. They're really actually installing real doors. These are real. These are real secure jet doors. Passable. Well, does that mean passable as in they're good doors? Or passable as in the quality of the door is good? I think it means it's a passable. Oh, they're digging. They're doing what I told them to do. Cool, man. Finally. I was worried this would never change. Uh, all right, build, workshop. What was I doing up here? I want a kitchen and a butchery right here. Farming. 
This might be chat. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. And this is what I'm starting to think. Okay. We have seen bees. I've seen them. I've seen bees down the hill in the clearing. I've seen a hive. If we could harvest their honey, why, we'd have everything we desire. If we could claim this colony of honeybees for ourselves. Not that I know how, literally not that I know how, truly not that I know how. Oops. Stop. I don't know how to claim these honeybees. Maybe I chop it down? No. I have to build a hive. Do I have to build it on them? Or can I just build a hive and they'll be like, what's up? And just come over to me. Because I see them here. But I don't want my boys to get killed by bees. Keep a colony of insects at your hives. A wild colony must be collected after the hive is placed. Ah, yes, yes. Do bees like being in caves chat or can i okay there's some actually attacking they don't like being in caves probably not but chat i need they need flowers well i'm not gonna fucking do all that for them i'll put them i'll put them right here next to like this bush and the trade depot why is that? Is that Goose complaining about not having tools to work with? Help! 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 Uh, okay, well, hey. This looks like a flower to me. These all look like flowers to me. Oh, right here. B hotspot. I have to make it first. God damn it. Fine. I was worried this would happen. Fine. I'll make one. Workshop. We need to make one. Where is it anyways? Uh, carpenter. Crafts. Why do I feel like it's just a carpenter? Which is upstairs. Hive. Add a new task. Hive. Then it must be crafts. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. I don't know why I'm doing it like this. I'm trying to, like, visualize the spacing of what I want to do here. Okay. Dig. Dig that up. Clear it for me. The doors. These fucking... Can I... That's it. These fu This swarm of acorn flies have pissed me off for long enough. That's it. Man! <laughs> we have been attacked too long! Atis, you will be the commander of our militia. <laughs> to war, sound, sound the, sound the horn, the drums of war, slam along. Squad, <laughs> create a new one. We wear no uniform, we can't afford it. 
The bronze circumstances arise, and guess what? Guess what, my boy? Ushrir, the woodworker? Part of it. And you guys are on duty right now! Okay? You guys are on duty right now! And you're gonna go kill this fucking beehive! I'm putting out a kill order on the acorn flies. <laughs> I can't. They're too small, dude. I can't put out a kill order. I can't target them. <laughs> All right, you guys are off shift. Why can't any of you be an animal that can capture acorn flies? I should probably move them inside, huh, the animals? They're all gonna die out there in the fucking cold. Like, one creature is just gonna run by and eat them all. Hmm. Well. Start building the rest of the workshops up here that I need. Farming. We need a butcher. Make it out of alder logs. Uh, we also need a... Tanner, because we're about to just really fuck up all the animals outside. Make that two. Now, we're gonna also make sure that we add another workshop, because we're just gonna... We're really in just, like, building all the workshops day, is what today is. We're gonna need that kitchen. We're gonna make the kitchen right here, next to the... Next to... Yeah, we'll put it right here, in the corner. Yeah. Cool. Hopefully, people will stop eating raw fish after this. Hey, Chad, I can't unpause my game. Oh, it's because I was in the, the squad menu still. They're all sleeping? Nah, game was just paused. Oh, I, they're still active. Guys, it's over. <laughs> guys, uh, you guys are done. Uh, shift's off. Go back to your jobs. Okay, no one, no one can kill the bugs. We're giving up on that. We're, we're not, we're not ready for that. We're not going to be able to. Uh, okay, well, chat, should I move all my, I feel like it makes sense to, whoa, you're not part of the, you're not part of the team, who are you? Oh wait, no, that's Lydia, he grew up! He was grouchy, he's getting grouchy. I feel like I should, like, fence them in somewhere. Well... Bars. I don't really want to make bars. I feel like I need to fence them in or make a pen. I've never made a pen. Just make a cage. <laughs> Could make an animal jail, technically. Uh, furniture. I just want to do it. I don't want to. I just want to fucking. Do animals need to be in a place with grass to live, or can I move them all into, like, a fucking box? I'll just look it up in the carpentry thing. You know what? No, I'm gonna make it out of fucking stone, because that's what we have. <laughs> no. A uh, bar? No. Pedestal, slab, weapon rack. Okay, it might actually just be a carpenter thing. Okay. Animal uh, altar, crutch, grate, floodgate, hatch cover, minecart, pedestal, stepladder. Not seeing much for what I kind of need for what I'm looking for right now. Not really seeing it. Okay, I guess we're just going to go with walls. I guess I'm going to wall them in. So here's how we do that. I'm gonna carve out this little corner right here. Half of the place will be covered so they'll feel nice and safe. Okay. And the other half will be fucking, you know. Totally their scene. They'll have a little bit of everything that they like as animals. Okay. 
looking good. Now I'm just gonna tell him to build a wall. Am I a nitwit? Constructions. Here we go. We just wanna build a wall. <laughs> this feels fucked up. Like I shouldn't be walling in my animals like this. Anyways, we're gonna make it out of the rest of our alder logs. Okay, I don't know why I'd split these two. Yeah, this is all gonna be perfect. This is gonna work exactly as we plan. Yep, like a serene. Gonna make the rest of all their logs. We're gonna need to cut some more of those down anyways, so let's get to it. Bop and bop. And where is ones that won't fall into a fucking hole of water when I'm done? There we go. It's coming together! Chad, it's coming together! No one's fucking dying. I didn't see a fence option, but at least now I can say, hey, uh, let me pop into my zone section and make sure that this is a pen slash pasture. All animals are allowed to scamper around in this dirty, sad hole forevermore. All of you get over there. <laughs> Oh, wait, did I cancel it by accident? No, it's good. Uh, no, nah, that's select animals. Uh, all of you. <laughs> Every single one of you get in there. You're gonna be nice and safe once we box you into this little hole. Without water. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna all be eaten within another week, Chad. I just don't want something to get to them first. Like, what do you think the butchery's for? How do I... How do I send out the order to kill one of my animals? <laughs> How do I officially say it's time? Uh, let's see here. Not the stray dog. Uh, you. Wait a minute. It's sick. Uh, I don't know if I want to eat it if it's sick. I'm not going to tell you. Oh, you guys think that. Okay. Whoa, no, no, no. You are not preparing our plump helmets in the fucking kitchen. What are you, crazy? Hang on, I'm gonna pop in and make sure that's off the board uh, right away. I don't want anyone thinking that's okay to cook plump helmets in the kitchen. Uh, allowed for brewing, not cooking. Those are for making beer. Don't tell him. It's under animals tab, bottom left. Yeah. Yeah. Objects, justice, work order, citizen information, pets and livestock. And thus, many an animal died today. And thus, the first of the creatures was signed up for slaughter. I'm angry. Didn't ask, don't care. Didn't ask. Didn't ask, just do not care. Take him to the butcher table. Let's get him the hell out of here. Feed him to the acorn flies of which infest our entire colony. All right, chat. So at like this depth right here of like, let's say, let's say elevation 28. We've got yellow Jasper. We got a lot of space here to work with. We're gonna dig out a little, uh, we're gonna dig out a little 
little like living quarters for our boy. Actually, no, let's go a little bit higher. Let's do like right here. Yeah, we've got we've got some kind of bituminous coal wall. We need coal anyways for work. We're gonna carve out this. We're gonna make a little like living quarters area for these dwarves. It's about time they have a place to sleep at night. Instead of living in squalor. Yes, sir. Well, at the same time, just cut up any coal we see. Make that the dimensions for starting. Alright. 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 Lots of coal here. Okay, so while he's doing that, I'm going to put it in order for something very important if we're going to do much more today, and it's making a table. We need tables. Without tables, no one will know that it's okay to eat somewhere. Well, they, they'll just eat like they always do, but you know what I mean. Wish I could, like, I don't see a thing that's just like, hey, I want to do this task five times and no more. It seems my my options are either A, tell it to repeat indefinitely and then stop it, or B, uh, I need a manager for that. Well, no, no, I've only got seven guys. I'm not gonna make it either the manager. They'll get like big heads about it. Unacceptable and not happening. Unacceptable and not happening. They're gonna end up getting like fucking really big heads about the whole thing. They're making the craft workbench. They're never gonna shut up. We do that, they're never gonna shut up. They're gonna ask for so much more stuff. Just make the last couple things that we feel like we need. Clothing and leather would happen upstairs. Uh, we have the tannery, so we'll put that right there. At least then we'll have like everything that makes sense for like initial characters. Look at these little creatures. How are you guys doing? Weak and sickly, okay. Have the animals been harvested? They're all still very alive. Is anyone planning on doing, is anyone planning on butchering an animal? Butcher these animals, start butchering them. Put, I've now put it, yeah. Yeah, get these idiots to their, get these idiots to their box already. And while that's happening, someone build another door. We need a door to hold them all in. Make it out of wood though. I'm not that desperate to protect them. A uh, wooden door. All right, make a wooden door AF ASAP. Well, well, well. The strong, clumsy reindeer finally comes to the slaughter. Oh my God, that was fast! Jesus Christ! Well, every part of the reindeer has been harvested. All of it. They fucking blended him down. <laughs> By God, they even harvested the fucking nervous system of it. How good are these butchers? One fell swoop, entire nervous system extracted. He used that as netting to catch fish. Yep. All right, kitchen. I want fine meals made. I want it to be fine meals, okay? Wait, no, I don't. I want normal, old, easy meals made forever. Are you eating raw food again, Unib? No, they're preparing. Okay, I'm officially, guys, as of now, I'm putting in a, uh, an order uh, for our diets once I find where that is. Okay, but I just want you all to know that in a couple of minutes, no one's going to be allowed to eat raw food anymore. As soon as I figure out where that is. Again. Okay. And let it be known that very soon we will have a police force... And the detective situation. Where the hell is my raw? Where the hell am I? Where the hell is it? 
Work orders are used to automate tasks in workshops. These orders are set to be complete a certain number of tasks. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I just need a... Uh... Yeah, I just need a manager. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna give somebody the manager job. We're definitely gonna do that. Definitely. Okay, so here's here's how we do this. Uh, I think Atis could be taken off of just digging because he's not really doing anything as a... Who killed it? Oh, and we ate that guy. Chat, where's the thing that lets me tell them uh, never to eat anything but what I tell them to eat ever again? Just so they never, ever, ever eat anything that I don't want them to eat for the rest of their life. So is this where you're all outed for not actually knowing anything about Dwarf Fortress, or does that just not exist? Oh, here we go. Wow, this is all very specific. We have a lot of cave lobster, huh? It doesn't really say, like, oh, hey, don't eat it raw. I guess I'll just figure it out. I guess I'm just too used to RimWorld, where people will eat garbage and then be like, and now I'm gonna kill myself! Maybe they just don't care as much about stuff like that. All right, hang on. I gotta make a door. Did the door get made? The door did get made. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I'm gonna go ahead and get that placed then. Door. Bada bing. No access to door. Motherfucker. There's a goddamn door right here, motherfucker. Listen here, I'm looking at a door. That door better just need to be moved to a stockpile and that's the only reason this door ain't going anywhere yet. Cause I'm looking at a door. Oh, there goes the stray horse full and nervous system extracted. And there goes the last one. Right on. Okay. It's late spring. We've got a lot of stuff now. Oh my god, look at all this muscle shell. Can I... I think it's definitely time to sort out our home sleeping quarters situation. I definitely think I'm going to carve out more of this just because there is coal in these walls. Once I've gotten it all, we'll kind of start uh, figuring out how I want the beds to work. But the bees are inside the walls. I, chat, I don't know what to do about the damn bees. Okay? I don't know what to do about them, but I am going to make the hive. Okay, where do we make the fucking hive? I thought it was the crafts. I thought hives was the craft section. Workshops, farming. I need to make this. Make it at a workshop first. Uh huh. Well, I'm looking at like five different workshops. You want to explain which one? Game, you want to tell me which one of the workshops is the one that I make the bees things? Uh, because I have the crafts workshop. Oh my god. Blech. I have it. I look up bee, nothing. I look up hive, nothing. Maybe it's like apiary? No.
Hive was on the same tab as the Tanner. Oh, you don't... No, you're looking... Yeah, I know it's here. I need to know how to make the item. There's an item I need to make. There's an item I have to make, chat. Damn, it's like I'm... It's like I'm finally now realizing that many of you have, in fact, just been kind of wildly guessing and just getting lucky. And there's only, like, five people that have actually played Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> Craft Dwarf's Workshop. Oh! You mean the thing I've been in? Oh! Oh, the wood thing. Okay, I see. One person was right. Everyone else was saying the wrong thing. I got there. Thank you, the one person. Okay. I got there. One guy helped me. Everyone else did not. Hive. This is the most important thing in the entire colony. We're running out of alcohol. Get it done. Get it done, make it. Okay, hive, done. Upstairs. <laughs> I can't just put the bees in the fucking, like, animal thing can I? I can. Why couldn't I? <laughs> Why shouldn't I? Oh. Hey, why is it taking, uh, why is it taking my axe, my, my woodcutter so much time to, uh, oh, were they, like, stuck making meals forever? Was that the problem? Yeah. Go cut those. Okay, we'll make, we'll put the hives right. It doesn't, look, it doesn't say anywhere these bees need plants. People have just implied that they'd like plants. And now they're going to really like hanging out with this dog. Get the hive down. And now the door is there. There's no reason, okay, that I can't put it. Where it should be. Right there. Very good. That's a deer? That's a dog. It says stray dog. That's a dog. Okay. We are now bringing bees into the colony. <laughs> slug! Slug! Slug alert! We got a slug alert! Slug right there! Two slugs! Wow, we really did collect. Ha! Ha! <laughs> Dude, who brought, who brought those bees? 12,000 bees? 12,000 bees. That's a lot of bees. <laughs> what? Huh? I guess we've got a lot of bees now. I guess. Okay. Cool. Cool and good. Okay, well, how's the cut that no one's been doing the mining? I, what did I even think was going to happen if I let this guy do anything other than fucking mine forever? Wait. Oh, no. Militia command. Okay. Get back down to digging forever. You dig. Everyone mine. This is where we're making you, like, places to sleep. We're running out of drinks. If we don't start getting honey made, chat. It's over. We're gonna die. Forever. And ever. Because we need, we literally will not survive through the day 
If we don't have alcohol, these dwarves will kill themselves and everyone around them. Can't you just brew from plump helmets? I can. But currently we aren't farming them, so I don't want to use my stockpile like that. They will get their honey. And they will make that into beer. Or so help me God. Have we been properly preparing liver into food? Wow, we got a lot of horse leather. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we got horse leather. Um, I guess I should make a place to make clothes. Then I didn't think they were gonna do that right away. It's right there. Wait, no, I already made it. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, make a. Can we get like? I don't know, leather armor? We need something for, like, outfits for our militia eventually. Yeah, make leather armor. Yeah. Okay, the still's going. Now we're gonna need to... Oh, no. Requires empty food storage item. Oh, yeah, we don't have any empty barrels. We need to make them. We need to actually make barrels. Guess we'll make a couple barrels. <laughs> Are these deer getting a little bit... Is little idiot getting a little bit green? I don't care. When will I be able to harvest this hive for all of its honey? <laughs> these animals look miserable. Ah, uh, yes. I hope they're having a good time in there. I know I am. What's this? Oh, yeah, that, who cares about that? What's this? No one cares. What's this? Eh? What's this? Mm. Huh? What? Nope. Don't care. Nope. Don't care. Looking good, folks. The, I see the acorn flies are infesting the place where we make our food. Not much to be done about it, unfortunately. Oh, there's another, uh, more beehive. I mean, maybe we just fill this whole box up with, uh, freaking bees. <laughs> maybe that's, maybe that's really how we get out of here alive. Maybe I'm just gonna make another couple hives. You know what I mean? Oops, that was rock. Maybe I just make, like, one or two more hives. And we just... Uh, you know, go from there. keep getting distracted because I really want to get like some very specific stuff done. I always feel like there's wow that is just nervous tissue huh we can't just have that in the fucking we cannot have that around nervous tissue I don't think we make food out of that that's just gonna rot away and make everyone go crazy. There's a lot of rotten rat remains I thought we made a thing for this hang on is this stockpile fucked there's like rotting rat remains in the basement But none, none. Get all of this out of here. <laughs> this is unacceptable, people. People, this is unacceptable. Get it all out of here. This most of this place is hamsters. Why? Is there, why is there like eight hamster bodies down here? Where would they come from? The stench is unbearable. Collect all those. Get them out of here. What were you thinking? Doing that. Pissing me off. All right, I'm gonna add another hive. No access to hives. It's gotta be moved to a fucking stockpile first. Because no, what are they complaining about? What's the problem? Hall. What's wrong? I feel so good. Oh, they're having a good time still. Well, we've got a lot of food now, so that's cool. We could probably slow down our roll on, like, mi like doing things now. Got a lot of food now. Ah, what a peaceful day. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I forgot about the tables. We weren't gonna do that. Did they dig out all this? They have. Cool, cool, cool. All right, here's what we're gonna start doing. I guess I'll make one of these guys into a fucking manager now so I can enjoy my life a little bit more. Uh, who here seems like they have good skills for management? Go down the line. Record keeper proficient. Rawl, okay. All right, Rawl. God damn it. For some reason, my, man, oh man, my mouse just will not lock to my monitor lately, and this game does not have a good windowed mode. You'd think it would, but it doesn't. Uh... You, maybe? It's gonna be Rawl. We're gonna make Rawl the manager. Alright, Rawl. You're, uh... You're the new manager of the team. Okay? No relevant skills? Well, guess what? You'll build them. Okay? <laughs> they need... They need a meager study. In order for Vral to do anything, they need a meager study. They have to have it. For fuck's sake, Vral, are you kidding me? What even constitutes a, a study? Fine. Okay, we'll fucking put it right here. We'll like carve out a little hole. I need it! Hang on, let me double check what it actually requires because I'm gonna do them the bare minimum. Needs meager study. And what exactly constitutes a meager study? Table and chair in a small room. <laughs> Why is there a wheelbarrow down here? Oh, they're using it to move rocks. Okay. All right, Raul. Well, I got good news. We're gonna give you a, ma a, a minor study uh, right next to the work zone. You're gonna love it. Beep. Boop. Beep. Boop. Ah, oh, we could do smaller. Hang on, don't dig all that. Stop. They said meager, not fucking like huge. So I'm gonna cut it down a little. Yeah. We don't want him to get a big head about this or nothing. Okay, now I'm gonna give him. We already have the table. So we can just make the chair and do this first. Does it have to. I don't wanna give him a throne. Can I do like a. You know. Something smaller? <laughs> something something less impressive like a stool I don't see stool I could make it out of like wood I guess throne is just the wood I just I just don't want them to get a big head about it because I know they're gonna get a big head about can we get these hamster bodies out of here This shouldn't be hard! This should be the easiest thing we do all day, folks! I better see a bunch of bodies on that refuse pile right next to the river. Oh, it's starting to make more sense now. I made it too small. <laughs> We have a lot of dead bodies. I see. Now this makes a lot more sense. Okay. This was my bad. Okay. We'll just go ahead and give this a big old fashioned. This is no man's land. <laughs> As of now, this is no man's land. No one goes to the river because we've been using it to dump our garbage. Yep. Kills all the animals. Wow, that's a lot of corpses. What can you what can I say, dude? Wait, why is this keep red? That pisses me off. Uh what the f Oh no. No one's no one getting rid of any of this, and now it's oh we're dead. It's over. The stink. The stink. The miasma. 
Ah, uh, the stink. Why? Okay, guys, if we could please extract all this garbage out of the room, because the stink is wafting so bad, uh, people are going to start going and say, I better start being more careful. Guys, if we could please move all this shit to the stinky corner going forward. Thank you very much. It was just a little bit of stink, guys. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. We're okay. We're okay. We're, we're okay. We're okay. It was just a tiny bit of stink. It was just a little, a little bit of stink was all. But it's gone now. We didn't have a wafting, horrible stink. Just a little. And now it's nice and far away. Everything's fine. How's the, uh... How's the honey coming along? Requires a jug. Fuck. <laughs> okay, well, let's worry about what we can worry about first. First of all, furniture. I'm guessing chair is thrown. Jet thrown. Done. And then? Furniture. Table. Done. Now I just need a door. We need a door for this. We always need more doors. We should really just make a bunch of these. Make a couple. You need a second hive to make sure your industry doesn't collapse instantly. I know, but I'm waiting for them to move the hive over because I was going to do that. It's not my fault that my community is a bunch of fools, okay? It's all their fault we're not thriving. Hive. See, the, there is a hive sitting. Oh, the stink. Can we get these rotten reindeer meats that we never ended up eating out of here? Dumpster all this. Dumpster that shit now. Hive. Now. Place another one. The animals kept awake at night by the sound of buzzing. What is she doing? <laughs> Raul? Raul, why are you sleeping in the meat pile? The rotten meat pile? The meat pile that we use for our garbage? <laughs> Raul, why are you doing this? She's the manager. She doesn't have a study. She's sleeping in the fucking garbage. Right, the hamster remains. <laughs> Bro, please, dude. Fucking come on. They gotta dump this shit. They gotta dump this shit. Any minute now, someone's going to come dump all this garbage. Okay, they're doing it. It took them a bit, but they're doing it. We're back to dumping the hamsters. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Can I make like a, I don't know, place to burn all these dead bodies? Like a, just like a, like a big old fire. Can I just, like, you know, make something to get rid of all this stink? You know what I mean? It's really, like a, or like a pit? Like a, I mean, wait a minute. I could literally make a corpse pit. I just want something that's not, like, a little more out of the way than this. You know what I mean? I just dig, like, a big old hole, tuck everything in it. Could I tell my guys to huck stuff into a hole rather than climb down into it? Could I, like, huck them? Tell them, like, oh, chuck it over the edge. It'll just land in it. In zones, there's dump. Hold up. Items designated for dumping will be tossed into the open <laughs> space is included in this zone. Oh yeah, dude. That's what we were hoping for.
Woo! Let's fucking go, dude. This is the dump now. Except. Can I tell it to all... Can I say that anything in here is legally dumpable? Can I do like a big old sweep of everything in here and say it's all dump? Because I know I can do it one at a time. How do I just say, oh, everything in the stockpile is dump? Where? Designate mode. Where dig is. Oh, I see. Tree chopping, plant gathering. No. No, I don't think that's it. La oh, this one. I see, I see. Okay, everything here, <laughs> all of it is now designated for disposal. Get it all out of here. Throw it all in the river. <laughs> Get it out. Oh, stop falling asleep. Okay, we need to build beds. These guys keep falling asleep in the stink zone. We can't let that keep happening. Fuck! Stop! They're throwing up. Get this shit out of here! They're this. Oh, it's bad. 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 They're satisfied after working, though. They're okay. They're not mentally breaking. They're not having a mental break. They're fine. Everything's fine. And once we're done here, we're gonna dump all this stuff in the river and we'll be done with it forever. Stop sleeping in it, dude. <laughs> okay, priority one in the base right now. Priority one. Finish this. We're just gonna make the office so that the manager doesn't feel like they they don't have an office anymore. Finish that. Then we're gonna make bedrooms. This is gonna be the living quarters. It's time. We're just gonna go sweep. Bonk. Wait, no, I don't want it like that. I've already changed my mind. Sweep. Bonk. We're like this. Sweep. And then, how? What's the smallest bed, like bedroom I can make? What's oppressive, but not irresponsible? A one by three. <laughs> You guys are gonna be fucking pleased with what I make you. Understand? You think we're here to? You think we're here to make friends? We're here to get a job done. You want to have a nicer fucking place? Then shut the fuck up and dig, motherfucker. Okay, I'm gonna make five beds. What's the best bed source? <laughs> oh, don't I already know it? Don't I already know it though? Damn it! I have to actually make this out of wood. We don't have much more wood. I'd have to expand this, like this spot, which I should do, to be honest. Have we finally disposed? Oh, we're, it's all gone. Okay, let me just do one more sweep of telling everyone this is all garbage. Throw it all out. Wait, no, I just told it not to. Throw all of it in the shithole now. I want it all at the bottom of the, the river. <gasps> A little toad. Everything's fine. We're in complete control now. How's the hive go? We still need to make jars. We need to make jars. Okay. Good news is... Wood's being brought in. We're going to start making the beds. Is our manager now managing? We can now manage. Awesome. 
Make bed. Oh, very nice. Make six beds. No, ten beds, right? We need ten. Yeah, we want ten beds. Make ten beds. We're gonna get rid of that task. Very good. Making a little bit extra than we technically need. But that's okay. Is everyone currently throwing uh, stuff into the river? Where are you taking that? Were they just putting something down or did they just pick up garbage from the garbage section and start taking it home with them? The fuck even is that? The hell are we fishing out of this river? Lampreys, dude. What's that? It's a rat. There's rats, there's rats in the fucking garbage now. You know what? It's theirs. I don't really care. I don't care. You know what I think it is? I think we got to tell this guy we're done preparing raw fish for a while. I think he's fished a little too hard. I think that's cool. But I think it's time to tell him that he's fished enough for a bit. We don't need more fish right now. Matter of fact, we have too much. We have too much fish. Now, can I tell you to make me... No, I don't tell anyone anything anymore. Fuck off. Can I tell my fucking manager to do his goddamn job and get me jars? Apparently not. Hold up. Jug, not jar. Jug. <laughs> Apparently it's called a jug. Can I tell him to make a jug out of whatever we have available? <laughs> Rocks. I want you to make fucking, I don't know, four jugs out of rocks. Lead jugs, if you will. Thank you. And can someone... Where's Dig Boy? Your only job is to dig. Where are you digging? You better be down... To... He's doing this one first. Okay. Well, the bed section's done. <laughs> you know, we're also going to need uh, ten doors for this. Aren't we? Well, fuck. Man, having a manager is very nice, though. Uh, make it out of any... Wait, can I not just... Okay, make it out of any rock... Make ten of them. I don't care. I just don't care. Finish it. Get it done. And while that's happening, furniture, B for bed. Yup. F, B, pop. We're out of beds. <laughs> One person's getting a bed now. Everyone else is going to have to wait a little bit. Pathetic. Look at how slow Ushri is at this. What is that guy doing? What are you doing? Thicket. He's hauling rocks. God, this guy's 20. Wait. Who's the 22? Did we get a new dwarf? Did new dwarves join? Migrants have arrived. We got three new people. I was like, who the heck is this guy? He's only 20 years old. We got new folks. That's good. <laughs> welcome, welcome. We just figured out how to throw stuff out. Welcome. Welcome. Thanks for coming. We only just figured out how to throw out garbage. You'll fit in just fine. Well, where's the garbage been going? Because it should be going downriver towards the, uh, the you know, creatures, but... Uh... Seems like no one's really, like, interested in throwing anything out into the dump I designated. And it's like... Like, uh... What the fuck? Throw it. Do what I do. Do what I told you to do. Also, uh... I'm gonna take care of this, too, because... Well, it doesn't matter right now. 
right here is the only lake or river that I'm actually willing to allow us to fish in. Because it seems like the other one is infested by alligators. So I'm just going to say that this is the safe one. Just in case, so the guy doesn't go near the uh, refuse river that we use to dump our shit. If you know what I mean. It just feels better. Good. Okay. It, eh, take me back up. Well, who's this guy? We got a stray yak cow. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, man. Welcome. Anyways, get the fuck in the dang box with the rest of them. Now. Thanks for understanding. While it's happening, uh, stockpile. We're gonna expand this stockpile here and here. I only have some more space for things. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. Now we can finally grab all that wood. Oh, people are starting to toss stuff in the river. There's a swarm of mosquitoes under the water. Oh, wait, no, this is a... Wait. Is this a chasm? Oh. Chat, this is a free fall. This is open space for, like, fucking four blocks. This is a chasm. No wonder the guy's only been fishing down at the bottom. This is an open hole. This is the trash hole. <laughs> We're gonna use that to dump bodies. Right on. Right on. Can we please get this yak moved into the hole already? Also, really... We're starting to run low on those drinks. I know we haven't, uh... Oh, so the study's done, right? This guy's done with his study? Yeah, his study... He better have ID that he has a study now. I don't want to have to keep worrying about this. He doesn't think he has a study. How do I tell him that he has a study? Office, not a study. Or study. Oh, office or study. I guess it's that one. Alright, man. There. Do you, I, do you recognize you have one now? Do I also need to assign it specifically to you? Let me guess. I have to do that. Who even was the goddamn manager? Raul? There. Happy Raul. Now, you have nothing to complain about. There. Every, everyone's happy now. Now, can I finish the sleeping quarters? Can we get all this stuff, please? Chad, is there a way that... This, obviously, I'm sure it exists, and someone's gonna tell me I'm gonna look like an idiot when I ask. Is there a way I can just, like, fucking, like, uh... Never mind. I have nothing to ask you. I actually don't even know why you would even think I have anything to say to you. Because I don't. No, I figured it out. Did it all by myself. So shut up. Yep. I don't know why I did the doors like this. But, uh... Whatever. Okay. Can someone please start hauling these things down? It's already midsummer and we don't even have beds yet. No space for cabinet and chest? Do I look like I'm running a goddamn charity? <laughs> we don't have things. These dwarves are lucky to be alive. Chat. What do I do about the water situation? 
I've never really dealt with aquifers. I, I kind of just avoided them every time I play. But I do want to... You have to smooth the aquifer walls. So I can just dig straight down. It's just that when I do, I need to smooth the walls. Unless it's a giant water lake beneath. Guess I should check how to smooth the walls before I do this. Smooth rough wall, make it more pleasing. Okay, smoothing is all I need to do then. We're gonna wanna do this step by step until we get past it then. Okay. Okay, order's been made. Once we get that dug, Wow, it was pretty fucking fast that water started coming in. Wait, but I don't see where the aquifer... Okay, so it's all the damp stuff. Anything that says damp, right? So this level's fine. This level's damp. The water... Well, that's peat is the problem, so I don't think I can smooth that. It looks like I just have to seal up this spot and go around it. Considering that's Pete. But will I have time? I don't think I'll have time to build a wall. Hmm. Just don't want my guy to drown doing this. You will? It's very slow. So, so, if I'm correct, one out of seven water is like, hey, it's at my ankles. The seven out of seven is, hey, I'm underwater and I'm drowning. Cool, okay. So I should be worried at like five, six out of seven. I'm in bad news. So I'm okay as long as I build these walls now and get this done. Which means I'd have to dig them out first, right? I have to dig out the area. I can't just overwrite. So cancel this for now. I need to dig out all this first. Guys, it's already at two and I don't see our miner! What could there even be to mine right now? Buh. He's just standing there. No job? Motherfucker, you're a miner. Your job is to mine. He has a red icon? Yeah, which locks him to exclusively what I have. Does he have a pick? Looks like it. Why will he not, why will he not do his job? He's set to it. Coding of tears. What do you mean? What do you mean? Is he crying? <laughs> He's just crying. I need someone to dig. I just cracked open an infinite water source beneath the colony. He needs to dig. We don't have time for people to... You, you're mining. You, you're mining. Everyone's mining now. Are they mining? They're drinking. And they are... Also not... Okay, I'm getting the feeling that instead I need to go more deeper into their settings. Game's paused. It wasn't paused when I checked. Uh, after. It's paused now because I'm in a menu. Uh, 
I'm gonna have to go into the labor section, aren't I? The proper labor section. You make downstairs not up, and downstairs they can't get to the job. That's... True and... Fucked up. To say the least. Uh... That's true and fucked up and pisses me off. But I don't think I can fix it now. There's just a hole. There's just a hole now. I'll just plug up this and pretend it never happened. Yeah, there's a solution for you. We didn't build anything here. Here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, here's what we do. Check this one out. We're just gonna go up to here. We're gonna make this into floor, and then we're gonna make it into just upstairs after. <laughs> I'm gonna make it assisting stair here to make sure that I don't trap anyone. And then I'm just gonna kind of plug this up. Wait, did someone just go down? Well, I'm just gonna see someone in there drowning. I'm gonna start screaming, dude. It's fine. We'll have a second attempt at this after. I just need to know that we've solved this problem. So we're just gonna do this, okay? I'm just gonna build a nice floor. Tomato, you are putting upstairs. I don't think you understand how placing stairs works in this game. Uh, because I did it right <laughs> this time. I fucked it up on the first input. This time I did it right. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna put a floor here. Will this stop it? Uh, I believe this, I believe putting this floor here will plug it. I'm not in like a year gonna see like water leaking out of the bottom of my like living quarters, right? This is fine. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. If we could just get this done post haste though. Why do I feel like we sealed someone in here? Okay, we're good. I'm just gonna cancel this now. We don't go down there anymore. That place is donezo, brother. That tunnel's donezo. Cause we dig from this tunnel. All right, Jimmy. This one, we're gonna do right. And I know that because I'm saving. Yo, you can't do colons? I was gonna do a smile, but I can't. We got there. Okay, chat. This one is gonna be big, okay? <laughs> We're gonna do all of it in one full motion all the way down. Bada bing. We get there, we will dig out what we need to dig out. And everyone's working on it. It's going well. No fuck ups. Man, that's filling up fast. Wait, there's not even any water here. Yo! Oh, wait, no, some of it's damp. Yeah, that part's damp. Okay. So, we can definitely see where the situation is arising. Dig this. Now. I made sure to do it properly this time. I didn't fuck it up. Okay. Is this part damp? No. So, I gotta get rid of these three walls. 
This, these two can be smooth. This one needs to be ripped out and replaced. Uh, or do I even have to care if it's a corner? If it's a corner wall, does it matter? I feel like if it's a corner, I don't need to care. Corners don't leak. Then I can just smooth it. We'll just smooth these corners and see if anything comes through. Because... If anything does, it'll be very obvious. Go ahead and smooth that. We're running out of drinks! Those jugs better be done! Where are them jugs at? Why are these jugs not got honey in them? Why do these jugs... Why are these jugs not full of honey? Why are these drugs not full of honey? There's 12,000 bees in these hives. Why are they not full of honey? The bees, what are they, rebelling? We're gonna have to destroy the colony to harvest. I guess it's not ready to be, I guess they're not ready yet. It's just like, it's like they don't realize their only purpose is to feed my colony. Like, what the, who said? How do I know what, how do I check which one of these fuckers it is? Someone in the colony is upset. And it's just like, like, why? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what the, what the fuck? Which one of you is it? Thicket. I fucking should have known. Should have known a mile away, Thicket, that you were going to be a problem boy. 22 years old. He hates romance, but he does have two lovers, which is a weird one, Thicket. That's weird, bud. Hey, bud. Kind of weird. Kind of cringe. Kind of, kind of cringe, man. Uh, I've been rained on. It makes me so grouchy. He's only upset because of that. Who the hell's this guy? Is this guy one of my guys? He looks like a zombie. Okay, well, I need to finish these beds. Why did the construction of that bed not finish? It was like done. Okay, I'm gonna assume, let me check my work orders. The doors are still being made, but the beds are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those all placed. Ow. Bed, 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 good. And set them for zones. They're gonna love these, they really are. Bed, bed, <laughs> bed, bedroom, bedroom. Oh, wait a minute, I think I did this wrong. Zone, this is all one bedroom. We don't want that, we need it to be separate ones. So, get rid of that. We need these like this. Select the right signal. Okay. Pop. Pop. <laughs> That's not it. Pop. 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 They'll live like so happy. Look at them. They're having the time of their fucking life in here. Yeah. Or how how are the how are the doors going? How are those doing? Door. Door. No more after that. That's okay. They're gonna be... Look, they're gonna be happy once I tell some fucking idiot to smooth all these walls. Yeah. Get to it. Make it pretty for them. While that's happening, I need tables. I need lots of tables. They're gonna be pleased once they see how smooth these walls are. I only sleep with smooth walls. I can't... 
Who? Someone just got super, super mad. No, he's still okay. How's that smoothing going? Y'all better be smoothing quickly. I want this place pristine. I want it really nice. Is this actually making that guy upset? Is he really making a scene about this? Like, he's gonna be a lot more upset soon when he realizes we're out of alcohol. Because we can't harvest the honeybees. You know, probably the best thing we can do for this colony right now is continue to dig straight down until we see soil. You know what I mean? Oh, it almost happened again. Dude, stop, dude. Why does it do that? I want it to automatically understand that these need to be up as well. There. I don't know why those are just like not doing like the mix thing because I think that like fucks up the pathing. And then I need to like go around instead. Wow, look at that smooth dude. Now that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Doesn't that just... Doesn't that just make them all happy? And way happier? Look at that. Isn't that, isn't that something? Yeah, the stairs are... Fucking broken now. They're skipping a level. but That's easy to fix, I guess. Oh, it's because there's water beneath one of them. We're going to have to cut that properly and fix it once we get in here. Okay. Where's the water? It's all of them. Uh, smooth all of it. Just smooth the whole circle. Clean it up, boys. There's also some right here. Smooth those. This guy, I fucking hate the look of that guy. I hate the look of that guy. That This guy? This, like, old man Link-looking ass motherfucker? Kind of pisses me off. So, the damp smooth pudding stone is still damp. Is that going to get better or is it still leaking water in? Or have I solved it? Have I solved the mystery of this place? Maybe he needs to be sent on a dangerous recon mission. Well, good news is we pushed our way through a lot of the aquifer until it happened again right here. God damn it. This place needs so much. This water zone needs so much babysitting, dude, to like, yeah, get through it. Cut through it. There we go. Wow. Hey, hey, that's a lot of water. Okay. So you go ahead and smooth all that too. Okay. God, this stair system is so cursed. That's a, wow, that's a lot of water. Aquifers spawn fucking... You no, know, it's actually really funny, Chet, because I'm looking over here in the first workshop mod to come out for this game. It just says no aquifers. It just says none. Get rid of them. Take them out. So that got... That's fine. All that's smoothed. All this is smoothed. That needs to be cut still. I don't know why the order is not there to dig this anymore. Dude, I really need this game to follow my instructions on where I want them to dig these fucking stairs or else we are going to have a flood they're not listening to me they're just not listening okay the only way to tell where stuff's actually damp is to do it like this everything's clean on that one did they just choose not to dig this again 
How many? How many times do I have to tell them to dig this tunnel before they're gonna do it? They fucked it up. They actually managed to fuck it up too. That's the worst part. Well, that stair is fucked, but who cares? Uh, I'm gonna smooth it. Maybe we just go to a one by one, but the reason I'm not doing a one by one is because I'm afraid stuff like this is gonna break. Smooth. We just gotta get past the aquifer. We just have to find some kind of. Chad, we just have to get past this into some kind of. I don't know. Tunnel system where we can b farm our mushrooms the way we want it. Oh, we just need a little bit more. Just a little bit more. At least they're fast at smoothing. Well, we continue down. We're trying to get to elevation zero. I'm banking on that being maybe when the aquifer ends. So far, so good. No damp. We might be past it. Nope. There it is. Yep. Yeah. So I need them to dig this properly now. Again. Once they pass all of it, only then can I tell them to re-dig it again. So if you would please, dig it. Please. As originally instructed. Cool. Cool, are they almost done? So we can smooth? Okay. Zero's not that bad. Smooth there. Actually, we don't really need to, but fuck it. I'm gonna do it anyways, just so I don't look at it and get confused. Smooth these three. Smooth these three. I'm starting to see a pattern here with this corner that I've chosen to dig on. Yep, definitely starting to see some kind of pattern. Not sure why I'm even checking anymore. I might as well just go all the way up on this corner for the entire thing. And then it's just a real mess here, but this is all already smooth. Okay, that should cover us through all the way to the bottom. Now, if only we could find our way to the promised land, to the cavern, where we can finally... Where we can finally get ourselves... Chad, we're gonna be... Wait, are there There's... Hang on. To the surface. I saw something that really pissed me the frick off. I think this... I think that my bees are stinging... My, my, my yaks. And I'm just like, kind of like, fuck yeah, dude, fight back. Don't let them, don't let them push you around. You know, don't let them get you like that. Oh, the doors are finally done. People finally have bedrooms. Chat. Chat, look. Chat. Isn't this great? Look. None of the match. It's ugly. This place sucks. But I got doors now. These are their bedrooms. Look. Oh yeah. They live like this. <laughs> they live like this, chat. Okay? They live like this. <gasps> Fuck. Okay. Most important task, extract from plants. What are you 
you doing? This may be the end of our colony. This, uh, this might end up being it. Good news is we have the seeds. Okay. We are making drinks again and not a moment. Not a moment too soon. We might be okay. He dug too deep. I've not dug very deep at all, to be honest. Uh, I actually, my depth has been, uh, I've only reached zero. To my knowledge, the lowest depth of this game is more like, uh, yeah, 129. I've got at least until negative 50 before I should be worried about there being problems, which is exactly what I'm thinking. So, like, I'm really just going to go like, uh, bop, 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 bop. And then I'm just going to do a swing. And bop. I fucked up the whole thing. I think putting in as many build orders as I just did really actually seriously confused the game. It didn't even save any of it. So I guess none of it matters. It didn't even save the build order. So uh, let's do it again. Bop. And we'll do it without using my crazy scroll wheel. We'll go down to negative 50. I'm just going to try to... Oh, there's the order. Put it right there. And I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. And all of that. There we go. Hopefully we've reached the end of the aquifer section. If we're lucky, we've reached the end of the aquifer section. It's looking like yes. Oh! <gasps> We did it! We found it! We made it! Mushroom land! We're home. A tear falls from my eyes. Oh, hell yeah. We finally made it the promised land. Now, the question is, chat, is there anything in here that we should know about? There's a cave crocodile and some dingoes. A cave crocodile. None to worry about. Oh, he's like small. Wait, why is he lu is he lunging? Hold up, asshole. What do you fucking think you're doing? What are your let me into your world. What are your recent thoughts? Let's see his movement for one more second. He's turning around. Okay, cool. Good for him. Anyways, we can't let that guy be around. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, head on into my squad here and say that, um, yeah, who here has uh, any kind of, you, this Tekken's been a fucking, Tekken and Thicket, they've both been like absolute fucking idiots and not really been doing much of anything. So I'm mobilizing the task force of the bronze circumstance. Uh, and we are going to get equipped with a uniform of nothing. Yeah. Everyone grab your shit. We're going <laughs> to kill these. This We're going to go kill this crocodile. We got to get out of here. Some of you may die. And that's okay. I'm putting out the kill order. Confirm. Are they gonna get weapons before they do this? We own weapons. 
but I don't think they're gonna get them. Hang on, cancel that order. I better at least make sure they're armed. We own battle axes. I'm not seeing any boys with battle axes. Look, all I gotta do is go into the squad and customize it. You know what I mean? I just gotta get in there. And make sure that everyone's settings for this are correct. Yeah, man. Equip. Alright guys, so the uniform for us is battle axes, okay? Specifically copper ones, okay? And everything else is super cool. Why am I... Oh, I have to name it. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. So here's the situation. Everyone grab yourself a copper battle axe. If you don't have that, because we don't have enough for everybody, use your hands. Partial matches are okay. Why is this not in here? Do I have to do it? I guess I have to add the uniform. I've been giving them like a temporary one. Idiot. How many more times? Okay, guys, if everyone could go ahead and grab your battle axes, partial matches are okay. Uh, confirm and save. Everyone get into your idiot outfit. Uh, everyone go find a battle axe. I saw all of you fucking ignore it. Go get- They better have it on them. If I go check Thicket's inventory, he better have, it, he better have an axe on him. Alright, that's all I'm saying. Huh. It's weird because he doesn't. I guess it's because they're not they're not uh mobilized yet, maybe. Cause my uniform has uh no The uniform is just any battle axe. Partial matches are okay. I guess I can say any yeah, any material. Doesn't matter. That's, that was exactly what's the case for it right now. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna station these boys, okay, for the sake of this test, right here. All of the active bronze circumstances are now stationed here. Let's see if they grab their shit. Oh, that's an X. Okay, they just weren't going to grab it yet until they were actually, like, told to. Look at them! Alright, where's the last one? We're missing a guy. Who are we missing? Who, where's Thicket? Where the fuck is Thicket? Where's the? Where's Thicket? Oh, he- they were down there, dude. Oh, they're still doing the dig. Holy heck, man. That's not... That's fine. Thicket, grab your shit. You better be up here in a second, dude. I'm not playing around. Are we getting, like, an infestation of floor fungus? Is that new? Okay, everyone's here. Everyone, we are not going to get pushed around anymore. It's where did he go? To, to battle. To kill the cave crocodile. We will march to battle. Go. What are they doing? Where are they going? There's still crocodile there, guys. Crocodile has no idea. 
They're frail and they have low stamina. They've never worked a day in their life. Right, they're actually 23 years old. They're ancient. He has a great musical sense, a great feel for the surrounding space, a great deal of patience, a good intellect, a good memory, and good kinesthetic sense. He finds helping others very emotionally rewarding. He desires little for himself in the way of possessions. He has an active sense of humor. He thinks he's fairly important in the grand scheme of things. If only he knew the reality of the world around him. Fucking idiot. Get owned. Oh! He. Uh. Uh. It looks like immediately upon arrival, Addis ungobbled. Uh, cut his tail in half. He just cut his tail right off. Uh, he's terrified while in conflict. He's afraid after experiencing trauma. Look, Chad, he's got to get the fuck out of here. There's only one solution, and it's to get rid of him. He also has no... <laughs> he's... He's, uh... Look, it's gonna be... He's, he's We're gonna do this clean, Okay. We're gonna do this clean. Jesus Christ. He's, uh... Oh my God. How are we doing? Oh. Uh, Edis Ungobbled has, uh... He's bleeding. He's lost his ability to stand and grasp and his motor nerves have been damaged. I got a summary of what that's like for him right now. Oh, his right hand and arm were mangled beyond recognition. Do we feel so bad anymore for this guy? Uh, it looks like, uh... Ah, uh, yes. Where do I go to get, like, the combat play-by-play -play check? Can I do that? Like, the actual combat play-by-play? -play? Where's, like, that at? The one that just shows, like, everything happening in real time. Alerts on the left. No, that's not it. Select a report to view the full thing. Okay. Okay. I see now, I see. Where's, is the top? Where's the, which one's most recent? Is it top to bottom or bottom to top? Top is newest, okay. Oh, yep, yeah. so we're getting a lot of, uh, looks, top is oldest. That's what I was thinking, because the leg was the first thing that got injured. I wish I could make this smaller. I don't really want this, this like in the way during the fight. Oh, it looks like I can't unpause while this is happening. Guys, just fucking kill him. He's gonna eat this guy. He's gonna eat our friend. He's seriously injured, exhausted, heavy bleeding. Oh, he's unconscious. Is there a dwarf doctor in the mines? Look. Tekkad is fine. Ushrir is fine. Addis is uh, unconscious and ha experiencing heavy bleeding. And Thicket is fine. I also didn't realize until now that Tekkad was a is a legendary gem cutter. We should probably be taking advantage of his skills. Look, guys, Addis will be uh, succeeded by no one. He has no children. Uh, he, uh, he, he's going to be fucking very quickly forgotten. He was only like a professional miner. No, we don't have, no, Chad, we don't have a surgeon. We don't have doctors. We barely have food. <laughs> we had to get rid of this alligator so we could have food. He's going to die a hero. He's also your militia commander and we'll get a better one after. I meant beer. I meant we don't have much beer. It's dead. <laughs> okay, how do we... How, well, chat, look. 
What if I just hire someone right now to save his life? You know what I mean? The bleeding stopped. He's fine. He's literally fine. The bleeding's over. He's fine. Can't walk. <laughs> Can't use his right hand anymore. It's gone. It's gone. It got ripped off by an alligator. Uh, his upper body is cut open, but he's not bleeding anymore. It's like, you know, he's fine. He's a dabbling ex dwarf, and he's gonna people people are gonna acknowledge how powerful he is after this. All right, guys, uh, you're off duty. Addis <laughs> laying down in a pool of his own blood. <laughs> guys, help him! Guys, <laughs> he's drowning. <laughs> Okay, well, what do we do about this? Let me take a look around. Nobles and administrators. What if we just go ahead and get a chief medical dwarf? Now, uh, who here could be a good medical dwarf? Let's get Unib to do it. Sure. Well, that just lets me see the, like, overall condition of people. That's not necessarily doctor stuff. Do I have to build a doctor place? Now, I'm uh, gonna have to make a zone for this, aren't I? <laughs> Barracks, office, archery range, animal training, tomb. <laughs> it's probably the best choice we have right now. I don't, I do not know what to do for him in this situation like i i don't know what i just don't know what you guys really want from me Addis ungobbled has to die like some people die out here okay who needs a tomb when you have trash canyon that is true you know i'm going help i don't know how I don't know how. I'm looking around. I see dungeons. Don't see anything about how to make a hospital. Hospital is a zone. Oh, you mean the window I'm in? Chat, these don't have like additional like things under. It's under meeting area. Bedroom, dining hall, pen pasture, pit pond, water source, dungeon, fishing, sand. This important zone is where your citizens will gather to socialize. Crucially, the meeting areas where locations such as taverns, temples, hospitals, and the like are established. Guys, I found the meeting area. Good news. Now that we have this, obviously we have a place to put our... Fucking dead and dying idiots. This is a hospital now. Yeah. Yep. Now, knowing this is a hospital, surely someone is going to go. Oh, Addis made it. He passed unconscious as soon as he made it up to the hospital floor. Welcome. He lived. Oh, the chief medical dwarf is currently tending to the wounds of, uh... Addis. Oh, no, she left. Addis will be fine. How about a bed? Well, now that Addis is up here and he's evidently stabilized, I truly do not care about keeping this place as a fucking hospital. I'll tell you what. Uh, because it's not where I want my hospital to be. So, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and... Because this is actually the, uh, this is just, like, the place for eating. Like, it's not even meant to be a meeting zone. Uh, so we're actually going to get rid of it now that I tricked him into coming up here. He managed to overcome his death uh, and come up here. 
Uh, so he's done his job. Uh, we're dining hall in this section. This section's dining hall. I just need to get tables down. He's faint and seriously injured, but he'll live. Do I fire him as militia commander? Hmm. 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 Well, I'll tell you what I do do. Okay, this place needs to be secured. Okay. This is open space. We just need to secure these edges. Because I need a place to farm my fucking mushrooms. And I'm not taking any chances. So. As a result. Bop. Bop. Gonna make it all out of... Ga Gabro. At least that part. This part over here, bop. Oh, wait, no, I could actually make this a lot easier if I did it from here. This part right here, bada bing. Also, gay bro. This part right here, bada boom. Nice. And then all this, uh, whatever we have on hand, frankly, at the time of building. A uh, kimberlite and olivine. And granite. Yeah. And this part right here, the last part. Oh, hang on. I don't like these fucking slopes. I don't want stuff to be able to get in. Pitch, bl pitch blend. And then, bada bing, make this out of a bunch of other crap that we still have on hand. And then we're pretty much out. We're gonna have to make the rest out of wood or just, uh, I don't know, get more rocks. Diagonals exist. I know, but I don't want to do them. It is cool that you told me that factoid, though. Uh, that's really interesting. Thanks. Where the hell's our local, like, guy who digs? <laughs> is he just gonna be sleeping all day today or what? Out here trying to get plump helmets farmed up, and this guy's nowhere to be seen. Mangled beyond recognition. Not sounds like a lot of not my problem. All right, zones, it's time. It's finally time. We can finally start making something for ourselves down here. No mud slash soil for farm. Mud is. I thought people said this place would be perfect for this. Is floor fungus not... Where's the dirt that we use for this thing? Because I was sealing this place off. Gotta muddy up the floor with water. Well, how do I move mud? I'm so confused. Because if I just needed floor fungus, we've been getting floor fungus all day today. Up where we actually live. It's actually everywhere. It's kind of an infestation. No. Set a zone as a pit and then set it as a pond. So say I were to do this. And put a pond right in the middle of this clearing. Then we would... <clears throat> Get mud, essentially forming around it. I just make like a like a nice pond. You can just plonk down a farm if it lets you. No need to do anything fancy. Um. It was saying I was missing things. It didn't say I couldn't build it, though. At this point, we need to do something. No mud slash soil for farm? Yeah, no, it won't let me. Actually, no, it is. 
Because she says construction's inactive. I don't know if that means they're not able to or what. Nope, they're just doing it now. Okay. Maybe. Maybe after this, plump helmets will be possible. We'll see. Although it is a grim reminder of the winter hardships to come, the supply caravan from the Standard of Plains is a welcome sight. Their eyes are light with anticipation of inspecting the splendid products you produce. Uh, what? What? Nah, we didn't make that much, dude. Honestly, we've kind of just barely been scraping by out here. <laughs> we got, there's a crocodile we killed. It's like crocodile. Got a lot of dead muscles over there. <laughs> They're interested in hamster corpses. You think? You think they want that? Well, here's what we do have, which is easy enough. A jeweler. Cut gems forever. We have one guy who's really good at this. Who's actually a master at it. We could probably spit out some crap really quick while they're still here. Because I believe... Are all these guys still at their station? I thought I told them that way they were off shift. Guys. I needed to go into their actual thing, didn't I? They're not all sitting at their station. Well, he just got naked. So I think that means they're not there anymore. Well, the easy way to check would be just to follow uh, Tech. If you He's cleaning himself. He was covered in blood. Okay, Tech. So here's the thing. Legendary gem cutter. Huh? Well. Which one of these is... How do I? I just want to assign him to always work at the gem place. I mean, he's going to cut gems, so I guess he's doing it. He's doing it without me asking. Okay, so we just cut something. I kind of want to see what he made. I mean, he's making stuff. He's moving fast, too. I'm going to see if I can assign him to this. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Thicket. No. Tekkit, the legendary gem cutter. This is now your place. This is your zone. Someone immediately got on it and started doing it instead. Who are you? Who are you? Who is that? Bemble? Bemble, what's your fucking, like, gem cutting skill? Dabble? You're dabbling! You're dabbling with our priceless gems! You're gonna dabble! You're gonna use our gems, our priceless gems, as a tool- as a practice! Oh, you're gonna practice? You're gonna practice with the gems, Bemble? What's up? What's up with you, Bemble? Great deal of patience, a sharp intellect? Not sharp enough. Alright, not sharp enough, Bemble. Not fucking sharp enough at all. Bemble, I got a job for you. Uh, you fucking, uh, you haul now, forever. Better get to it. A lot of stuff to haul today. Once you're done with that, you can haul. Forever. Your job's to haul now. 70 years hard labor! Get off that. <laughs> get the fuck off of that. Look at how long she's taking. Hang on, I got a diplomacy notification. The expedition leader Manam Kustgaroth meets with the outpost liaison Onget Tekabvast. I am your liaison from Mountain Homes. Let us discuss your situation, okay? There's much to share, okay? Make requests for next year's caravan. They'll charge more for these items. Um, I mean, listen. Okay, listen. 
What we want, and I think I speak for all of us when I say this, what we need more so than anything in this world right now is specifically just lots of sand. Sand? Yeah. Really load up on a lot of sand. We really want sand. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Sand and eggs. We're never seeing these people again. Next chat, next time I see them, I'm gonna kill them myself. Alright, next time I see them, we go psycho mode. Let's discuss what we are willing to offer for your craft craft dwarf ship. A need for powder and tanned hides is expected, and if you are able to provide some, the caravan will offer, okay? They want powder and tanned hides. Yeah, I'll definitely be doing that. We'll definitely be making that. Fuck off. All right, man. Dude, look at him, though. He moves so fast! Chat! Look at how fast he's cutting! Holy shit! Jesus! This guy's a legendary warrior. He's got laser eyes. Do I tell him? I guess I tell him to also like. I mean, if we had any other goods, I'd tell him to encrust those with gems and sell them. That's what happens when you make an artifact. When did he make an artifact? Is he holding, like, a legendary item or something? Probably back in history. Well, he doesn't remember making any artifacts. There's no, there's no talk. He hasn't spoken about his legendary artifact. Maybe he just practiced a lot. Can we, can someone fucking, I don't know, get these goddamn bees dealt with? Like, are we just not gonna get honey? Is fucking Addis still crying about... <laughs> About his horrible nerve wounds. Because I and his, like, I'm fucking done worry Like, dude, it was one alligator chill. <laughs> I don't know what else to fucking say, Anis. What the fuck? So, yeah, your left arm was torn asunder by a scary gator. But, like, I'm busy, dude. What else is Are you part of my colony? Who are you? Oh, this is the fucking Trade Depot person. I was about to, like, kill him. Well, look, here's the thing. I'm not dealing with this Trade Depot because I really just do not have the fucking bandwidth for it. I need to check and see how the fucking uh, farm is going. Because it's yet to be planted with anything. We plant plump helmets. Fertilize it every season. Guys. It's more important that we... Wow, this place looks like an absolute fucking shit show. Holy crap. Yes, sir. Now, this right here is going to end up being one of the nicest parts of the entire colony. That much I can tell you for sure. Are there any creatures I should know about that may be a danger to my people and our way of life? Oh, we do have two objects. Uh, Soul and Clenched Fist, Clenched Fence has two, like, artifacts. Rulidor and, where's Solon? Weaponsmith. How good are you with that? Legendary Weaponsmith! Dude, why are we not utilizing? It's like no one told me. Not any of you, but it's like none of the dwarves are like, uh, hey. Uh, I am farming. I'm actually one of the greatest warrior, like, weapon crafters ever. 
across the entire realm and I'm only 24 years old. <laughs> Hi, I'm 24, I'm super young, gonna be around for a really long time. Could make the strongest items in the game, if and you wanted me to. Why wouldn't you say so, my guy? Hey, does anyone else have legendary skills? Should I just go down the line? Addis. Eh. <laughs> Addis? Eh. Ushrir. Eh. Unip. Uh, Solon, we already know, Legendary Warrior. Uh, Tekkid. Legendary Gem Cutter. Uh, let's see. Bemble. Whose fucking bones are these? Bemble, where are you? <laughs> Bemble, where the fuck are you? <laughs> a giant dead cave toad corpse here huh oh and a giant bat that's a while away we're not we're not worried about that hey hey guys Hey guys, can we finish the wall so that Bemble stops wandering around the wild? Thanks, thanks. Anyway, next person. Bemble doesn't have any real quality, like, skills, so it's not that big of a deal. Coolette, talented fish dwarf. He's been fishing. He's he's earned the talent. Get rid of some of this crap. It's getting a lot of notifications, you know what I mean? It's lots of stray cats being stung by bees. But it's like, I don't have time to care about that. Uh, Ral. Eh. Not good. Manam. They're not a very good organizer, but that's because I haven't been asking them to organize things. That's my bad. And Thicket. Thicket. God, you are so disappointing compared to your brother. <laughs> Thicket, Thicket, you are one of the most embarrassing fucking idiots. I yelled at somebody in charge. I'm relieved. Tch. Married to a legendary weaponsmith. Yeah, it's just like... Kind of cringe. Uh, weapons... All right, let's just, like, kind of throw out, like, a, I don't know. Can I just say, like, a, what kind of metal do we even have? You know? First of all, I can tell you one thing. The only person that's going to be making weapons for this colony is the legendary weaponsmith. That feels kind of like a freebie. Uh, but the thing is, uh, what kind of what kind of metal we got just lying around? Take a look. We don't really have much metal. We have a lot of gems. But I think we need to, like, process metal. Which means we need fuel. Did I not get coal at one point? Bituminous coal. Make coal from bituminous coal. Chat. <clears throat> Chat. <sighs> just, uh, just wondering. How, uh, by, uh, what? Um, but why? I think it already is coal. Uh, to my knowledge, it is. To my knowledge, that does seem like it's coal already. Is that wrong? You need a coke from a wood f furnace. Put <laughs> make coke from bituminous coal. Oh, so I just make a wood furnace and I can make it in the wood furnace. Like, like, as if it was charcoal. Like, I could make... Or is coke... Okay.
wood furnace, fine. We're running out of rocks. I need to like, you know what I need to do? You know what would be way more effective than this bullshit that I've been doing, chat? What we're gonna do is just... Uh, let's see. We're gonna go down like another 50 levels. To like 66. 69! LOL! We'll go to 69. I think what I'm gonna do instead is lava forge it, baby. <laughs> but we can't go too deep because if we go too deep, we'll end up falling into hell. So we're gonna go careful like. It's gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. What's this? What's happening? Is there a dingo attacking an axe dwarf? The axe dwarf. Which axe dwarf? Take me to this axe dwarf. It doesn't look like the dingo won. <laughs> See, it wasn't one of my axe dwarves. My axe dwarves are off shift. It was one of the patrol guys. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? A thousand dead dingoes sprinkled across the realm. Oh, yep. There's the axe dwarves. Guys, why won't my people harvest this fucking, like, meat? Or I mean, honey, not meat. Wait, what the fuck is going on with this yak? Why are they overcome by terror? Is someone hassling this yak? I'll fucking kill him. I swear to God, I will kill whoever's scaring my yak. Terrified while in conflict. I'm not seeing anything that says that, they're, that they were attacked. It was the bees. Well, I can't help the bees. It's in their nature. You harvest honeycomb with a hive. Wait, harvest honeycomb from the hive and then press it with a screw press to get honey. You have to have a farmer's workshop. I see. I see. I see. Ah, that all makes sense now. Okay. Farmer's workshop. Farming. That is true. We have not had a farmer's workshop up until now. We still have the space. Cool. Put that right there. So, uh, yeah. What the fuck is Tekka doing? Why did my people just like hanging out out here? I thought they hated being outside. I thought like dwarves didn't like did not like being outside. Because they have no job. It's because they have no like hangout zone is what it really is. Okay. I'm putting in a work order. Cause evidently the table situation is not what I want it to be. How many tables we even got? One table? <laughs> Addis. For fuck's sake, how much longer are you gonna- He's healthy right now. Yeah, so what? His pants are ripped to shreds. So what? Most of his clothing has been torn up by a thing. So what? His ability to pick up stuff has been lost. <clears throat> you got a life ahead of you. You got like a life ahead of you, man. You got a chance still. It's just not as the militia commander, I'll tell you that much. Alright, uh, let's see here. Um, Tekken. No. Thicket, you have a destiny ahead of you. Uh, we're gonna switch, uh, we're gonna switch what's his name? Addis to, uh, Sheriff. There's no crime <laughs> in this town. But, at the very least, 
If we give him a pointless job that doesn't make any sense, maybe he'll find fulfillment through that because crime isn't real. <laughs> yes, severe nerve damage. I know! But like, what do you want from me? Crime is out there, man. Crime is out there. It's definitely out there. So he's gonna need, he needs a modest dining room. He needs a modest study. He needs a lot of stuff, huh? He needs... Hey man, what if you, uh, instead of being that, you were like a, uh... Hey Addis, what if instead you were like, um... Like a messenger? Instead. And we just kinda... Just kinda gave up on the, uh, sheriff thing. You know? It's just like, that's a lot. For me. I was near my own bed. It's interesting. I'm interested. <laughs> by my bed. I'm having a good time. I'm really happy. Why is no one finishing the wood furnace I ordered them to make? And how's the plump caps coming? What's this? Are we out of plump helmet spawns? Okay. Every plump helmet that can be planted is planted. All we can do now is pray to God! So I'm just clearing out some more of this because I kind of want to just like have it a little bit wider. Well, if there's no more plump helmet, there's nothing more to plant, lady. What are you doing? Cut down trees. That's your job. Cut down mushrooms. You cut down mushrooms now. Stay in, stay in your lane. Okay. And, uh... How's, uh... How's heading on down to depth 69 going? Getting anywhere? At depth 69, that's where we start digging. Oh, amethyst. Y'all yeah, harvest that. Okay. What the fuck? Giant bat! Toms! Toms! The giant bat's attacking! Who is that? Our best fish cleaner. Damn it. Someone! Help them! Wrong circumstances, Tom's. Where is he? A kill order on the giant bat. I want him dead. <laughs> I want him dead. He's terrified while in conflict. Good. Tell me about him. He has a deep well of patience and very good focus, but he has poor empathy and iffy memory. Kill him! Oh, there's no way this girl's making it out of here. That's our chief medical dwarf. I haven't even set up Burroughs. Well. Probably should, probably should right now. What the fuck is that thing? <laughs> why is there, why is there a giant falcon in the vase? <laughs> it's in the vase. <laughs> it's scared of everyone. Well, I mean, one look one thing at a time. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna tell everyone we have a new Burroughs.
just really, 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 really need the bronze circumstances to get down there and kill that fucking bat first things first, you know what I mean? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Unib is fucking gone, dude. What are we gonna do? They could just fall into the water. He's waiting for the others. Uh. Oh, yeah. Well, we knew Unib was dead. That's not a surprise, Manam. Shut up. Sealer. Yeah, we know. Everyone knows Unib's dead, okay? Forget it. Huck him in the river. I just don't have time to even think about making a... Like, if you're gonna eat my bats, get the fuck out. Huck him in the river. Just don't have time to care where's that fucking bat. How injured did it get? He has some claw wounds. He'll be back and he'll just keep making this a fucking problem. This is gonna be a problem, Chad. I feel like what we need to do is tell all the boys here to stand here instead. Order the squad here. And then try to get underneath the bat so it'll actually attack us. Or else we're done, so. Never catch him. How's that giant peregrine? Okay, the falcon got out. And no one fought them. They just left, they entered the building, they investigated, and then they scampered off. And that's honestly for the best. We need to fucking kill this guy. But unless he comes somewhere that we can actually reach him, there's nothing we can do. A little bit closer, asshole. Might be a spot that I can do it. He's scared. He noticed, he clocked immediately when us as a group were like, oh yeah, we're getting him. We just made him. We've discovered another vast underground cavern. Wow, that's cool. How big is this one? Mother of God. Dude, I can't actually navigate this shit. That's gigantic! I need to pivot the entire, like, tunnel to, like, here. No lava, either. Damn. Well... Right now, I'm more concerned about the, uh... Evil bat situation. How's that going? Where's the evil bats? Can we get that guy dead? Can we get vengeance? Where are- where is- where's the militia? They were never gonna be able to catch him. You don't know if the bat is evil. It literally killed someone. It literally killed and poisoned and killed someone. So yeah, no, I do know they're evil. All right, we're gonna have to make bows. 
Boys, you're back off shift. We need archers. Get back to work doing whatever it is you idiots do. Like I like this person's dead. Like Unib died, dude. It didn't even eat them. It just did it to kill them. All right, we need to do something about this body. Can I like tell someone to do the dumpster thing really quick? Is that like possible? Can I just be like, hey, get this person, like throw them out immediately. Like a, just a priority thing. You move all other jobs off of a holler. They were the holler. <laughs> they were the holler. They were. Well, at least we also have Bemble. All right, Bemble. Labor. Holler. Well, yeah, they should be doing it then, right? Well, look, all I'm saying is that Bemble's been doing a really shit fucking job of it because last I checked, the dump still has a lot of stuff that needs dumping. All right, maybe we do something more respectful. You know what I mean? Maybe we do like a quick little... Uh, you know, like, right here. I'm just gonna carve out a little something-something. And I'm gonna put, like, a thing right there. Okay, now check this out. This is gonna get epic. We got a lot of rocks. Okay. So what I'm thinking is I just go like this. Bop. And I say that's really important. You know what I mean? Now we'll make a we'll make a little tomb for them instead. And just dump them in there. How long is that gonna take you to make anyways? Granite coffin, there we go. Now we'll just go to this spot I told them to dig out. Bada bing. And kinda like hastily dump their body in it. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna be like, hey, furniture, burial, bada bing. Can we get that coffin moved to the stockpile? Can we get this coffin moved to the stockpile? Can we get the one haul? Can Bimble move this to the stockpile? Bimble. There is no difference in the tomb and the bedrooms. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. Actually, hang on. Does this say whose bed is whose? Ushrir, Addis, Bimble. Right on. We'll just put it right there, where their old room was. Let me just, uh... Just have to deconstruct this. How do I pick up something I don't want on the ground anymore? Because I don't want this anymore. I want this gone. I don't want it to be trashed. I just want it moved. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Easy. Come on, guys. Pick that up. It's for someone that doesn't live here anymore. They moved. Guys, get that body out of here. What? 
We're, why is no one getting this uh, done? Why am I? Why is my request being ignored? Where's Bemble? Oh, there's Bemble. Hauling microcline. Bemble's currently hauling rocks. Bemble, why would you think that moving these rocks is more important than moving the coffin? That will soon be for our dead rotting. Colonist member. Can I get a bat check? <clears throat> Can we check for the bat? <clears throat> Bat's gone. Oh, good. 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 I hated it. I don't want him here anymore. Hamster remains. Can we please pick this person up and get rid of him? Like, just get him out of here. Oh, the mushrooms are going in. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a pet of ours. I thought they were attacking us. And I was like, if you are going to fucking square up against us, we need this body. Where is Bemble? Everyone's walking by it to pick up our food. And they're all like, man, that's a bummer. What the fuck? Bemble, they dismantled the bed, but they haven't moved it yet because Bemble's nowhere. All right, Bemble moved the coffin at least. Good. Finally, Bemble does something right. Install the coffin. This is no longer a bedroom. It's a tomb. <laughs> Literally, we we are going to call it a day after that on uh, the whole dead colonist situation. This guy needs to get a job. I don't have a shirt. This is so embarrassing. We we gonna cry. Little, little, little lady, it you gonna cry? You gonna cry? Where's Bimble? Get that coffin built. Get that coffin built now. Oh, I need to make sure now that we're getting those uh, mushrooms again. Uh, still extract from plants. I want to do another cycle of this. <laughs> oh, can I finally get the the bees? Not one of these options is to do the thing with the bees. Not one of them. Not one thing in the farmer's workshop is regarding the bees. Unless you're about to say that I can milk the bees. And that's what I'm supposed to say. I guess I'll milk the cow we have, or the yak. I'm guessing we can yak, like, milk the cow. We are. Okay, that's at least something. Where do I do this? It's the tomb place! The body is here, but the, <laughs> the body! They moved the body before the tomb was put in, dude! Fucking put him in it already, dude! How long are they gonna be like this? Seal it! It's not sealed! It's not sealed. Why <laughs> can't they listen to me? It's <laughs> just a body draped on top of a, like a coffin. What do we do? What do I do? To get honey, you need a screw press. 
while I'm building that, can someone explain to me how to get this fucking dead body into the box? Please don't. I'll just put this thing like right here. No access to two mechanisms. Need to build two mechanisms first. There's always one more thing you have to put it in order for. Why isn't the first option at any point in time with these mechanisms, like with any item, just to be like, hey, I don't care. I would like that. I'd really like it if the first option to every single work order was, I don't care. You know what I mean? Okay. This, the chat, the thing is, they are assigned to this tomb. The tomb is assigned properly. There, everything was done right. It's just for some reason, they're not inside of it. They're on it. They're not, I, I feel like this is gonna, oh, I have a solution. I have a solution. I have a solution. I have a solution. Everyone follow me here. This is about to get crazy. Yeah. 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 Yep. They're gonna seal it. I'm not gonna let that stink come in. Did someone move? Some migrants have arrived. Oh no. The fuck is a stray guinea cock? Okay. Dude, it's like the thing I like about Dwarf Fortress over Rimworld, I have objectively been bumbling. But it's because the game, like, I could adjust and get good, but I haven't needed to because the game just, like, you can fuck up so hard in this game, and the game will still be like, and here's another eight people. Are you having fun? Are you having fun out there? Just keep fucking doing whatever it is you want. These dwarves, it's like more like watching an ant colony and giving them like slight directions, which is nice. Okay, so this is so sad. All right, well, Unib, Godspeed. You, you did good. Why are you sad? They want chairs. We all want things that we don't get. Okay? We all want things we don't get. Make charcoal. Actually, I should be doing everything out of work order, shouldn't I? Like everything. Easier to track. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. Addis ungobbled, cancel store owned item, two injured times 364. Well, let's look at the new guys. Literally no skills. Literally no skills. Okay, cool. Cool, welcome to the colony. Sibric. Adequate jump cutter. Yeah, well, that's not a good thing to be out here. Ranger. Can't call yourself a ranger when you've barely done it. That's like me juggling like a couple of like balls like one time and then calling myself a pro juggler. Like you're a novice, you did it once. Novice Dodger? That's not a job! <laughs> that's not a job, that's not a career! Novice Dodger? 
Yeah, I, I didn't die one time. Someone shot at me. You can say I'm pretty good at it. There's a guy that says in armor. <gasps> Dude, we have got chat. I mean, the thing is, chat, it seems like somehow we've gotten a uh, a legendary everything for gear. Like, if we could uh, do anything right, we would be able to make incredible gear, incredible armor and weapons. But, uh... You know, first we have to, like, have stockpile space, a guy that will stop... What is it he's doing? Try... What are you even trying to fucking do, Addis? What are you even trying to do? He was afraid, reliving, experiencing trauma. He still got his blood on his hands. He still got blood on his hands. From the <laughs> from a season <laughs> Addis has been out here. That's it. That's it. That's it. Build it. You can't do this? Oh, I can. Oh, I can. I can and I will. <laughs> He's been in there trying to wash his hands of blood for literally a year. It was one crocodile, dude, and you had four people with you. It's over, man. Uh. He has a great affinity for language, a great feel for social relationships. He has a questionable spatial sense. Look, he can't hold, like, the problem is, chat, if you can't hold things, you've really lost about all of your use in the context of Dwarf Fortress. Look, he's gonna be buried with his pet kitten. Just never mind. Never, uh. Never mind on that one. A kitten doesn't want. <laughs> Can we please get that last piece of the wall done? Getting sick of looking at this guy. Oh, wait, no, I know the solution. Addis, can you. There you go. Anyways, uh, no one's allowed to go through here anymore. Guys? There it is. This is, uh, this is for the best. It really is. Why was construction- oh, it's cause- th there it is. Well, Addis, here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. You're, uh, you're pissing me off and you're bumming, you're bumming out a bunch of the people in the colony. You're really bumming them out, so we're just gonna get rid of you. Uh, anyways, how's the ch is the charcoal done? Can I get smelting? Make billion bars? Yeah. Oh, here we go. I can make coke now. Uh, we're gonna do that until it's all gone. For starters. Because I'm guessing that's really good for making things. <laughs> How long do you guys think it's going to take for this guy to fucking die, though? He's healthy. He's 
just so useless. I just saw something fucked up. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I was gonna, I was gonna, uh, run a bunch of water above his house and have someone, like, dig the block, uh, allowing all the water to pour into the room and just drown him. But, uh, I changed my mind. I think that'd be insane. That's pure evil. Also is not contributing to the colony for the rest of your fucking life. Because he got bit. One time. Look at... More people should be using Unib here as an example. She died, okay? When she got attacked and violently crippled for life, she just wrapped it up. Okay? She wrapped it up. This guy just is over here unable to do anything, and he has two arms. <laughs> he has two. And he's still not doing anything. Go to this to him! We'll never know what happened to Addis Ungobbled, the sheriff. But what we do know is that, really, no one cares. Why do we have no beer? Where'd all of our beer go? I thought we were getting plump helmets. Straight little idiot has been stung by a bee. We're running out of beer. Chad, we're running out of beer again. Where is it? We used all the plump helmets! Where? Where and how? How do we use all of them? There was a, we harvested it. That's just not possible. It's all right here. We have a, we have a shit ton. Why have we not extracted the juice out of all these? Or turned it into some kind of alcohol? Where is it? Because they're not making them for meals, there's no order for them. What happens when- what's like the issue with this? It goes away. Need unrotten extract bearing plants. Is it in the burrow? I didn't end up making the burrow. Why is there a dead rat? <laughs> what? Why is there a dead rat there? Might not have enough barrels? Mm, I haven't made barrels in a while. That is true. I mean, I can't, I don't know why I'm doing it like this when I should just be using the order system. Who killed this red-winged blackbird? <clears throat> kind of badass. What the heck? I think I might just exile Addis now. Would that make everyone happier or less happy, chat? You know what I mean? Giant sponge! The giant sponge. Omega sponge. One of the most powerful warriors of the realm. Little idiot just can't stop getting stung by bees, dude. It's kind of funny. Anyways, I'm gonna dig out some more of this. What the fuck is going on here? There we go. 
So guys, if we want to not be horribly killed off as a result of not having any alcohol, it'd be really cool if we found out where that plump helmet was. Those plump helmets. So, uh... Like we got barrels. Can we get someone hauling that? We do a lot of stuff with fish. And I'm just going to kind of cancel that for a little bit. Can we get the barrels done and then the alcohol thing? Everyone's getting stung by those bees. I wonder if we ever finish that mechanism thing so I can actually, like, harvest the bees. I am... I, I, you know what? Here's the problem, chat. You know, I know what my issue is? When I would play Dwarf Fortress the couple of times I had, I would always use that Dwarf Therapist thing, which made it really easy for me to be like, oh, it's not something's not working. Let me just go fix it. Uh, this doesn't have it built in yet. So I'm kind of, I, unless to my knowledge, it doesn't have it built in. And I'm kind of missing just having like a window I can pop open and tick two things and then be done. It does. Well, where is it? Because uh, I know the menus that are here. And it's not really the same. This is not exactly the same. No, chat, I don't think you understand what Dwarf Therapist is. This is not, this even with like being able to make custom orders, it's not as intuitive as just using that tool. That was the preferred tool for me. It had a much cleaner, just like faster to use UI. Which is why I liked it. Can you stop with the fish? Do you really want the only purpose of your life, Rizid Eshtalatang, to be fish cleaning? Disdains introspection. Maybe he does. Maybe this guy really <laughs> Maybe he's just fine doing this and always doing this forever. Without really thinking too much about it. Okay. In a couple of moments, we will have no more alcohol because not even the mechanisms I ordered ever got done. We have rocks. It's just no one's making them. I think it might have been that. That was, that was the problem, though. Maybe our manager is a sh piece of shit and doesn't know what's going on. Maybe they're just bad. You know, maybe the manager's bad. Because people are just like standing around. It's not my fault. It's manager's fault. I blame them. There's nothing to catch in the central swamps. We're finally out of fish, huh? We chased them all away. The great hangover is coming. Don't say that. We're not going to run out. We're going to be fine. I'm I'm baffled by this though. I the mechanisms and I'm just gonna put it in the order myself, I guess. Not that I know where I build it. <laughs> not that I not that I know where I make it. Alright, you got me. Oh, was that the issue all along? I didn't even have the right thing because there's a billion fucking workshops in this game. Of course I'd need an unlisted workshop on this bar to do it. Of course I would need one more. What's one more? You guys know what I mean? What's one more? There's only 30 fucking benches in the game. Go on now. Build it. And now someone would be so kind as to make some mechanisms 
No. That would be awesome. Because if we don't get these drinks done, we're all dead. The mental break will be colossal. I, I shudder to think of how bad it'll be. If that happens. I, I shudder to think of how bad it will be. When the alcohol stops flowing. How long does it even take? Oh, it's paused. Probably not very long. Nice mechanisms. Nice. Did they stop building it after one? They stopped building it after one. Who did I... Where'd this come from? I didn't give anyone instructions to make a stepladder. I didn't give anyone instructions to make that. They just did it. Why would they do that? Hmm. I just want to see if I can get We're out of drinks. Everyone hold on to something. I'm going to try to get us out of here. People are starting to get irritated and agitated. We need honey! We need all the honey! Go, 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 go! Oh. They've extracted some honey. They're getting it, they're getting it. This is the only way we survive. People are getting really sad again. They were riding a really big high up until today. But now they're gonna get really mad. Make meat. Infinitely. As much of it as you have. And once you're done with that, brew drink from plants. Infinitely. As much of it as you have. We will not die today! We're gonna be fine. Watch this. It's about to spit out a shit ton of alcohol. This guy's gonna make some really mean drinks, I'll tell you what. Look at that, a whole barrel of the stuff. Looks like we finally found where our plump helmets were. That's not bad then, we're okay. You've got 300 food, my dude, you're good. I don't think you get it, and that's okay. But you don't get it. to remake the drinks. I think we're gonna be okay. We're back up to nine drinks. Uh, and that's all we can... <laughs> there's, there's more honey in this shit, right? There's not. Well... Well, that's not, how's the, uh, well, how's the, um, how's, uh, how's the farm going? That's the wrong farm. How's the farm going? Across all seasons, I need you to be getting me plump helmets. 24-7, the fact that you don't understand this is frankly pissing me off. Fertilize all of it. Do it every season. I want this place back to the brim with mushrooms. It wasn't set. No! No! 
Boys! Mobilize! To war! To war, everyone, to war! Kill honor! Crocodile! Go, 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 go! It's eating them! You guys thought they were cool. They're eating our fucking... I don't know who this person is. They're eating the manager! Wait, they're running. Wait, what? They got some cuts. They're fucking mangled. They're... It's coming up. It's coming up the tunnel. <laughs> It's, it's in the building. <laughs> it's in the building. What's this? It's a pool of cave crocodile blood. It's stuck. It seems like it's stunned and breathing. Huh. At some point, I think while it was coming up the stairs, who's the dwarf in blue? I think Bemble kicked them in the head so hard they got knocked out. And then everyone else kind of came down the stairs and just clocked it and killed it instantly. But I think Bemble did something. Well, hey, are you good? Hey, Raul. We don't have doctors, so like, pull your shit together. You wouldn't want to end up like, old what's his name. You wouldn't want to end up like old what's his name Addis. In the box. You definitely wouldn't want to end up like old what's her name, Unib. Not even given a coffin. Oh, it looks like Addis finally realized that there's a wall in front of his house now. Yep. You know, sometimes that just do be how it do be. Alright, boys. You're off shift. Good stuff out there. Actually, I'm not even sure that means that they're off shift. Yeah, they're off shift. Just kind of want to see how Addis dies, you know. What if I just kick him out of the colony now? Be gone. Be gone, Addis. I'd like to put in a work order for, uh, like, let's say, um, table. I'd like to put in a work order for, uh, some rock tables. Can I get, uh, ten rock tables, please? Thank you. We're gonna make that, we're gonna make that dining area that we always talked about. I know we have tables already, but I don't think we have enough. We're just gonna make a... Yeah, we have no tables. <laughs> we have no tables was the actual uh, truth of the matter. That's okay, we'll get tables. How, do we finally have like stuff to smelt with? Okay, I think we can make billion bars now. We're gonna make, yes, chat, we're gonna make, we're gonna make weapons out of billion. What the fuck? Dude, the mushroom, the mushroom situation really got bad the second we opened that cavern. Like, this place is infested. That, th that's a huge mushroom. No drinks. Yeah, we're gonna be without drinks for a little bit, I worry. There's just an unfortunate reality that, um... Is there a mouse that's dead inside? Where are these hamsters coming from, chat? Can someone explain to me where the hamsters are coming from? Like, just point me in the direction of the hamster? 
make a billion weapons. Ha ha ha. Chat, don't worry. I'm not I, I'm gonna assume billion is not a good metal. It's not about it's not about the quality of it metallic like weapon wise. It's about the quality of will it be artsy enough that people will Addis died. Oh. Damn, man. How could... How could God have allowed this to happen? Dude, can you fuck off? I need like actual flooring here. I want like floors. No access to 72 building materials, non-economic. Okay, you know what I actually need to do? You know what we're actually gonna fucking do? Let me show you what we're really gonna fucking do. I'll show you. Come with me. We're going deeper. We're gonna find the magma tunnel. No, we don't want to go that deep. We need to find a spot that lets us get all the way through the cavern. Right here. Good. We need to go deeper. The drinks are back. Food's doing well. We need to go deeper. We're going even deeper. We need to find magma. We're going to negative 100. Beneath the cavern. Just beneath the cavern. That's too deep. Not deep enough. Is what I'll say. Not deep enough. Isn't that right, Manab? Expedition leader. The bravest of our people in these trying times. Yes. Yes. Floor one hundred. Perhaps we shouldn't. Perhaps you should silence yourself. For you've begun to piss me the heck off with your foolishness. I saw someone in the old tunnels. The cursed ones we don't go to anymore. Has the- do we have the, uh, bars now? The bars I ordered us to make? Because if so, I want... I want to do something. Where the hell's the boolean? Can I really not make boolean? Maybe I can make boolean jewel stuff. Some kind of crafts. But yeah, we, I mean, we just really haven't found any good ore, you know? We haven't really, we've never really found, like, good Minecraft-style ores, you know what I mean? I haven't found any iron. Anything like that. You should be digging faster! Our destiny is down there. Our destiny is down there in this fucking mine. Oh, we need copper-bearing stones to make the bars. Okay. Chromite? I mean, that sounds good. That's neato. Down! Dig down! What's this? I 
I swear to God, if there's another crocodile eating my people. I swear to God, if a crocodile has ascended up this fucking tunnel in an attempt to devour more of my people, they'll regret it to- where is Bimble? Wait. Bimble's missing? Chat, Bimble is missing. They're <laughs> M.I.A. Bimble? Well, I'd like to ask this. Do you think it's a fucking game, Crocodile Chan? How was he able to just slip out? fucked up that's fucked up oh the stink oh the stink how dead how long's bimble been dead jesus christ <laughs> oh it's the cave crocodile oh this tunnel's fucked The person who was supposed to haul it's dead! Irvan Olongusil, I don't know who the fuck you are. But I'll tell you what you are now. Okay? You're a goddamn hauler. Get to it! Why are they not going to do what I told them to do? Oh, that's because it's not them. Why are you not doing the one... Dude, I'm, I'm like, I don't know if I'm like misreading jobs. But it says here that they're set to only haul. And it looks here like I've told them to only do just that. So they better be going now. To haul. Alert. Yeah, we knew Bimble died. Not much can be done about it anymore. Aside from mobilize my army, my incredible army. Which I think we can all agree would be badass as frick. So I see we really did just make the tables out of pretty much anything we could find. Which is, uh, very cool. So it's just going to be kind of like a real big old mess out here is what I'm thinking. Yeah. Now that's going to be a dining hall. <laughs> At what point do I, like, just, like, accept that, like, this was the practice fort? And that, like, I need to do, like, a fresh fucking run. At what point do I look at what's around me and I say, like, Oh, I should probably, like, now that I've gotten used to this, like, well, and, like, figured it out, now I, like, can, like, roll well and, like, figure it out from there properly. Now I get it. The stink is bad. The stink is bad. How's the tunnel going? Going well. Keep digging. Keep getting down there. Your destiny is at the bottom of this tunnel, Manab. Expedition leader. Hornland. I don't think I care much about Hornland. See, I'm just waiting to, like, drop into a big old pool of magma. That's kind of the whole point of all this. 
Kimberlite. There's a lot of ores in this game, but none that are like very obviously good. Going well so far. Kulet Kudrus this Fisher Dwarf cancels store item because he's horrified. Why? Why? Have you guys taken that body out to the dump zone yet? I better see it at the bottom of this river. That body better get thrown out soon. And you know what? Same thing could be said. God, that crocodile has turned into a skeleton. That is really bad. Uh, anyways, Bemble's gonna get the same fucking treatment this time. I just do not have time to worry about it. Uh, dump them too. Get them out of here. Throw everyone into the river. Matter of fact... <laughs> Matter of fact! Dump it here now too! Had enough of this! I hate the cavern! Can we adopt him? I think he's vicious! A giant amphibian predator found underground. She's very quick to tire. Her skin is top gray. Her eyes are black. She's great analytical abilities, a great feel for the surrounding space, and good kinesthetic sense. She's a little short on patience. She likes to brawl. It's just like... Fuck off. You know what I mean? Oh, they're leaving. Nope, they're coming. Okay, diagonals seriously uh, pissing me off. I don't know why I thought those were safe. Okay, all right. All right, that was a misplay by me. That was, uh, that was uh, my big misplay of the night, I would say. Because I'm now realizing I also know how that crocodile got in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, the issue here is that there's these holes where uh, walls should be. Now, the problem with this one is that it is literally uh, impossible for me to fill it, so I kind of have to just put a wall right here, make it a gabbro or something, just call it a day on that. We don't really have people construct things anymore. How goes hauling those bodies? Still haven't gotten it? It's covered in vomit. It's covered in vomit? Because people keep walking by it and throwing up everywhere. Well, how's like the, uh, how's the cave in the depths? Still nothing? You guys, guys, we can go 10 more down before there's going to be a problem. That much I can tell you 100%. I played this game 10,000 times. We can go to negative 110 and then we're done going down. That'll be the final floor we do. Then we expand wide, and we secure the depths as our new home. How much I can assure you. Matter of fact, I'm so convinced this will work that I'm going to immediately dig out a big old block. Oh, yes. He's gonna pay off. Go 
we gotta give these boys another uh yeah the the stockpile situation is bad because every time someone tries to do anything they get a uh, horrified by the situation, by where we are as a people. You know what I mean? Why is Bremble's body up here? I told you to throw them in the garbage! Oh, 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 we found a bunch of shit. We found a bunch of shit. I told you it was safe. I told you it was safe. We just discovered everything we could ever desire at the depths. None of you believe me. Oh my god, baby. Whoa, 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 what have we here? Whoa, 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 what have we here? Seems like that, uh, it was pretty deep. But not so deep that it is a danger to my survival. Yeah. Seems like we're gonna be a-okay, fine. What is that? What is that? I mean, I see something, but I don't know if... Wait, the giant sponge fucking died? I'm not really sure that's fair. Okay, can I see what the uh, unusual volcanic wall started with? Oh, those are diamonds. Walls are diamonds. It's just like so much lava. It's just there's a lot of magma. It's all. It's at the bottom of the planet. Well, with that in mind, uh, I guess we'll do the, uh, I guess we'll dig out here instead. I mean, I definitely am, I, I mean, like, I was half expecting us to dig so far down we'd die. We didn't. I don't know what to say. This feels like, uh, feels like we really got a good thing going here. But, um, I can't go much longer tonight, so I'm probably gonna wrap up. Uh... I may also do some spring cleaning on this base if I decide I want to continue it for additional sessions because I do really need to. Uh, I do really need to, but that means I'm probably going to do my own. Is it, they, Whose sock is that? Well, who just dumped their socks here? Is the body gone? Just, guys, just get rid of it. Why is dumping... It's harder to get someone to... It's so hard to get someone to dump. It's so hard to get someone to dump. Just dump. Huck him in the water. There's fighting. Why is there fighting? Like they lived. She's unbelievably strong. Well, then it doesn't seem like they had much of an issue. The cave toad tried to square up and they got clapped for it. Good. Good. Don't know where they are now, but really don't care. I just, springs, springs here. Look, Chad, it's spring. Can we get someone to dump this dead body? No.
Can uh, one of the um, can Irvod, Irvod, can you um? They're like hauling rocks. That's the problem. But what I really need them to do is something way more specific than that, and they're not gonna do it because they have to do a billion other things first. And there's no like, oh, prioritize this like there is in RimWorld. That's like the only thing that's like seriously lacking in this game still to this day is that there's no like fast way to be like, hey, I really need you to do this now. Like I could technically say the only thing I want you to do right now is do this, but then I have to unset it after, which is kind of like counterintuitive. I'd have to narrow it so much to do that. I guess I'll figure it out off stream and get better at it. But uh, yeah, we're definitely done for now because I'm hungry and it's 8.30. I'll be back tomorrow. I will be back tomorrow. The usual time. Thanks for coming on by. Thanks for getting some donate bits, etc. I appreciate it. I had fun. I had fun even though I was a bit bumbling. I uh, didn't really have as much time to learn the whole game as I would have liked, but I really wanted to stream it and I had fun. Uh, I reckon I'll play my own world and kind of like get better by next time I stream this and then we will either A, continue this one or B, count it as a like uh like starter and go do a real one separately as like a new one we'll see because i bet i could really slam everything out that i did this time way faster once i like know what i need to do but uh we'll see one or the other but we'll likely do another anyways chat i'll catch you all tomorrow at the usual time thanks for coming on by i will see you later goodbye <laughs>